Hello again, Timberwolves fans. Are you ready for the explosion of Timberwolves basketball? It is episode number 82 of Timberwolves Explosion. Today is <laughs> Wednesday, October the 11th, 2012. It is 10, 11, 12. Do you realize what that number is? That is a anomaly right there. 10, 11, 12. Isn't that weird? You're like, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't realize that too. It's the weirdest date ever, isn't it? It, might, it probably happens once every, well, at least once a well, not once every year, but I just thought I'd bring that up. Like once every several years, I guess. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, yeah. Anyhow, enough of that, right? I'm sorry, I'm causing trouble here. <laughs> Triple's Explosion is available on thesportstuff.com and on iTunes. I thank each and every one of you always for downloading and listening to this show. Do get on thesportstuff.com and check it out and listen to other shows on there as well. Yeah, this is uh, first and foremost, before we get into the show today, obviously we'll say what it's about. Of course, Timberwolves continuing the the ongoing preseason, the ongoing analysis of the team itself, and we're going to continue our predictions a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit deeper than in previous years. We're going to have our top eight teams in each conference. We've never done that before. So we have our little lists ready. We're going to pick yeah, our you know, MVP. Yep. Something new. Yeah, something new, just to add a little conversation to the show. It's like, why not? Figure, you know, our, so you'll see who we have making the playoffs and who we don't. Uh, one through eight, and there'll be a few surprises, but that's that's all about, um, that's all the fun of having an opinion and a discussion, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? You like it? I do. <laughs> I do. I do. No, I'm sure. That's funny. <laughs> But yeah, um, but before that, we want to thank all of you out there, because there was a, a massive hike in listenership. Oh, yeah. Thank you all very, 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 very much, and I'm dead serious when I say that. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, yeah, I, I did post the number on uh, the Facebook group. I, I'm not usually somebody that likes to give out the numbers, but... This time I did because I was, you know, figured somebody asked, and I'm like, okay, or, yeah, Lucas Quill asked. I figured, okay, I'll put it down. Yeah, approximately. Should I say the number? Yes, let's give it to him. Approximately twenty-seven thousand. Okay, yeah, that was, uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, so yeah, continue to tell your friends out there about the show. Um, Timberwolves are playing a lot better now. They have a more legitimate roster. Yeah, that helps. It does help. It does help. You know, the bandwagon's bigger, and, you know, we're not going to be one of those groups of people that's like, we don't need bandwagon fans. You know, I mean, hey, you know what? (laughs) There's no limit. Yeah, as long as they stay on the wagon. Yeah, as long as they stay on it this time. Now, stay on it this time. Yes, if if we lose to the Clippers once once this year, don't be jumping off. Yeah. It's called a wagon for a reason. It's not not supposed to be smooth. Mm -mm. Yep, it's exactly. It's going to bounce a little bit. It's going to bounce. You're going to see... Derek Williams shoot well, and you're going to see Derek Williams shoot like hell <laughs> at times. It's just one of those things, right? Or Shavad, or God knows who else. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk briefly about the Indiana game as well. We'll get to that, but before we get to that, I guess might, might as well do this, being we want to thank the listeners so much, and I should have done this in the past too. I mean, let's get to some of the comments on the Facebook page here really quick first. Might as well. Okay. Yeah, might as well, right? Yeah. Yep, so right now we'd like you to join the Facebook page if you could. I uh, need just a few more listeners so I can finally say facebook.com forward slash Timberwolves Explosion. It'd be nice to be able to say that, but for right now you have to go to the search bar on Facebook, type in Timberwolves Explosion, Minnesota Timberwolves, and you'll find it and click like. That's all you got to do. So yeah, I did the little mention of how it's just been a amazing... Uh, Actually, what did I say? I said, oh yeah, I was just basically just saying we should have a show soon. And uh, for episode 82, is going to come out. And thank you again for the unbelievable listenership in 81. Lucas Quayle then asked how many downloads. I responded with the 27,000. <laughs> Jules Posterino responds with, that's insane, but well done. On the recent off-season shows, excited. Thank you very much, Jules. We do appreciate that very much. Yeah, I mean, it's been a, it's been a long run. We've been at this for... A good, uh, we've honestly been at this for a good four years now, isn't it? This is our, what is our, yeah. And, and, and it feels like it. 
It feels like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It does, because we're finally a legit team again. Yeah. yeah. It took about 20 years, but we're here. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we, we hung in there. Mm-hmm. You realize Kevin Garnett was in his 20s when we last time he made the playoffs, and now he's like one of the old guys in the league? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Holy cow. Let's just see if there's any other comments down below. There are not. There's just a bunch of likes. That's good. Thank you for the likes, by the way. <laughs> keep, keep clicking like, yes. Uh, one brief thing, too. The Minnesota Lynx return to the WNBA Finals. Yes, sir. Let's get that back-to-back thing going. Got to mention that. Go Lynx, go Lynx, go Lynx. One final uh, post by Sebastian Balls, one of the elite uh, Purple Mafia posters and callers. Sebastian Balls joining Timberwolves Explosion. Thank you for that, Sebastian. <laughs> and do check out Purple Mafia show, available on the sportsstuff.com and iTunes to talk about the Minnesota Vikings, who are playing pretty good this year as well. Sebastian says, haven't been on this show in a long time, and even then... It was just one episode, I believe. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Wolves get a win over Indiana. I listened to the show, and you were talking about how L.A. is the best team on paper. I believe that the Lakers will have an awful year due to injuries, to be honest. I could see the Clippers doing okay. Congratulations on the fifth season. Oh, thank you for that, Sebastian. Interesting discussion there that he's starting up. Hmm. 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 Clippers are going to... I don't know. I see more injuries on the Clippers side than I do Lakers. Yeah, they have a bunch of guys that have a lot of injury history Already. on the team. Yeah, Chris Paul is always hurt, isn't he? Yeah. He stayed healthy last year for the most part, but... Yeah, Grant um, might, uh, might get injured. Yeah, Grant Hill looks... He's really aged, hasn't he? Yeah, especially uh, Blake. Oh, my he's God, Blake one. Griffin. The way he dunks and comes down, I, he just looks yeah. like he's going to have an ACL. He does. Yeah. Because he already has done it, you know, and just... I mean, you see it whenever he dunks. He's, you could just see the awkward landing and the knee bending funny. It's like, yeah, dude. I, I don't think he's going to slow down uh, with the flopping at all. I no, think, it's, no. I think it's, it's been instilled in him. There's that, too. Dude, yeah. thank you, Chris Paul. Yeah, thank you, Chris Paul. <laughs> the Flop City. I mean, Flop City, right? Yeah. That's what we call the Clippers, Flop City. It's not Lob City, it's Flop City because they like to flop a lot. Don't they? A lot. A lot, yeah. <laughs> they just need Anderson Vareja or, yeah. or Vareja, <laughs> and then there you go. Yeah. They need him on that team, don't they? They need Anderson to be traded over, then there you go. Yes. Let's see, what else? Do, um, yeah, the Clipper, um, uh I mean, the Clippers might make the playoffs, might not. Well, yeah, I mean, well, we'll, we'll get to that soon. Who's making the playoffs yeah. and who isn't? I better be quiet. I guess, <laughs> and he's right. They'll, they'll do okay. They will. They'll do okay. Like, not spectacular. Yeah. And, yeah, we're definitely not fans of the Lakers. That's Let's make that known. Maybe if anybody's a new listener right yeah. now. Yeah, we're not cheering for them. It's just, unfortunately, they're like the New York Yankees. Like, yeah. they need a center. They get the best center. They need this. They need the best that. It's yeah. like, come on. You know? Ugh. Right when we thought they were finally going to get old and go away. Like, well, oh, they got... Yeah. <laughs> They got a little bit older, like Kobe's a year older, and they got a really old point guard, but he's really good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so look at us talking about L.A. teams again. Holy cow. <laughs> but no, th- no. anything you want to add to that? Or? Oh, no. no. You're like, uh, no. But yeah, thanks for the post, Sebastian. Always good to get discussion going in Purple Mafia and now here, hopefully. Keep posting. Jules and Lucas Quayle, great listeners and great contributors to the show. Thank you, guys. So, yes, Timberwolves played Indiana last night. We finally got to see the Timberwolves play. Finally. Isn't that cool? I was ah. hoping that uh, they would show it. Yeah. On TV somewhere. I, I was going to hunt it down one way or another. But I was able to uh, f- find a uh, game. Oh, that's good. You were able to were able to pick it up. Yeah. Was that the Phoenix game or was it the Wolves? No, it was the Wolves game. Oh, you I did get it. it. Yeah. yeah, you did get the yeah, Wolves. There you excited. go. There you go. I mean, I had to make a pizza <laughs> and everything, you know. <laughs> oh, it was fun. It was fun. It's like finally. Yeah, I mean, it's real. Wolves exist. You know, they're they're not an urban legend. No, they're real. <laughs> they're real. And what's really cool, Brandon Roy looks. He does look healthy, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. It's not a myth. Yeah. Myth and legend. He, he fell down a couple times, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he kept playing. It didn't seem like he was in pain. No. Um. Yeah. I was driving to the basket. You know, uh, that's the great passer. 
Yeah, he really is, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, they say, you know, and they still, I mean, we knew this in the past, but I mean, they're still saying it now. He, he's got a little point guard in him. Yeah. He does, and to hear that coming out of from a guy with, you know, who had an issue with bone on bone, yeah. that's pretty exciting to figure that that's actually a realistic thing again. Yeah, I mean, I would, and, and, and as far as, I know, a couple, you know, some people say, you know, he can also play point guard. I, yeah. I don't think so now. Uh, you don't think it's a good idea? No. Yep. I mean, Probably, I, I, mm, his passing as shooting guard is good. Yeah. I, oh, I, I see what you mean. Yeah. I don't want him chasing chasing uh, point guards around. That's what you don't want. Mm-hmm. You know, the defensive end. Yeah, because we're talking about Chris Paul here. Yeah. yeah. So maybe he'd be one of those uh, switcheroos, like offense, point guard, defense, shooting. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'd do. Yeah. Because yeah, you don't want him. You know, you don't want Chris Paul breaking his ankles, which you no. know, gonna break a break a knee. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want. It's the last thing we need. Yeah. I mean yeah. this. We want, we want our Roy healthy. Yeah, he could be a franchise shooting guard, and I can't believe I'm saying that. We're talking about Brandon Roy as a Timberwolf and franchise shooting. It's just the coolest thing. It in looks the world. like it, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully he uh, stays healthy. Mm-hmm. I hope so because this is really cool. Yeah, it's gonna be this. I mean, this will be the story of the season if it's yeah. real. They're gonna be like, whoa, you know, like all over the league. Like, uh-huh. damn, Minnesota really struck some gold here. <laughs> and Karolinko was he. everywhere, man. He was a deer, it's like, like Rubio in defense, mm-hmm. just you know, bothersome. You mm-hmm. Know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was gonna on a lot of players' nerves. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> sign. Hibbert. Yeah, he looks healthy, doesn't he? Yeah. Healthy and ready to rock. Like three steals in the game. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like a great shooting night, but again, that's the thing with Kirilenko. We don't really have to worry about that. He's kind of our Rodman, kind of. Yeah. At least not. You know, he's not going to get eighteen rebounds. But we have love for that. But defensively, he's kind of yeah. He's, yeah, he's a and, and, a, and a lot of it won't. Sh- he's like another guy. A lot of it won't show up on the uh, box score. What he does mm-hmm. on the court. Yeah. Yep. You could say that about Roy too, because it's like the pass before the assist. Yeah. He's one of those like they call it a hockey assist. Where well, he, was, he was doing a lot of those. Yeah. Like uh, hockey assists. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because like you know, and to explain to some of the listeners, who might be like, "What is he saying?" You know, maybe they're not as used to it yet, or. You know, hockey assist is the pass before the assist that sets up the play. It's basically, right? Yeah. In, in hockey, they, they get the assist counted to them, but in basketball, they don't. <laughs> you know, so there, that's a hockey assist. Pekovic. Yes. Oh, Peck, Peck was a... Yes. Uh, Peck, he, he shut uh, Hibbert down. Mm-hmm. That was nice to see. That's a Yeah, it's a good sign. I mean, he does have a physical presence. He's, he's not a shot blocker, but physically, he's going to frustrate you. That's a good thing. I mean, yeah. he's, he's got physical defensive ability to him, which we noticed last year as well, especially before the the old bone spur situation crept up on him. Yeah. That damaged him pretty good most of the second half of the year, unfortunately. Yeah, and Hibbert was mm. just, uh, he didn't look at, as, as fit as last season. Mm-mm. But, you know, some people might say, well, it's just preseason. But Hibbert, he could not back uh, Pekovic down. It mm. just wasn't happening. <laughs> that, that's a yeah, I mean, and then that's an awesome sign to see that type yeah. of thing going on. Pekovic is going to be a, you, you just might be an all star at some point here, and that's a might be a bold prediction to some, but others it's like you know, yeah, maybe. I think so. He's got all star in him. I think. I can't believe it. I think so. Mm-hmm. I mean, he won't get the uh, rebounds. No, but everything Sometimes. else. I mean, yeah. scoring is going to be there. You oh, know. Yeah. It, it, he's. I think so. I think it will be an all-star. It's a possibility, yeah. yeah I could, you could see him as like a reserve all-star. I'm like saying, I'm saying it already. Yeah. I agree. Isn't that cool? Like, just the thought of that. The Timberwolves with an all-star center. <laughs> that, I that, it. Yeah. That's a, that's a, yeah, that's a definitely an urban legend. I, I keep using that term. I better chill out. That's more of a Purple Mafia thing, but I guess maybe it's a all-around Joey thing now. <laughs> That was a. I mean, it was a fun game last night. It wasn't the most. Ex, it wasn't the most exciting thing in the world, but eh, there was a lot of good uh, signs. It's just, you know, it's not necessarily about. Oh, we lit up the L.A. Lakers like we got fooled by that oh, two years yeah, ago. Yeah, <laughs> I still think about that. Uh, yeah. I still go back like, uh, was that like a gift game? Yeah, we like lit them up like a, you know, like kerosene dumped on a dry wood pile. You know, it's just. Whoosh, yeah, like, you know, we lit them up. Us that like, game, you know, was yeah. But then it's like, you know, it's more or less what we're looking for now as we just continue to grow and be more experienced. I mean, granted, we were, we're experienced in the L.A. game. It's just we're just starving so much for something. Yeah. That's yeah. what it was. So we got slightly excited because, 
these guys are good, good shooters, but yeah, I mean, it's intangibles that we've been seeing. Well, I don't know what we saw out of this team last night, and we'll probably continue to see into tomorrow night and Saturday. Tomorrow night is not going to be on NBA TV, but Saturday, NBA TV. Uh, and we wouldn't yeah. have got to see uh, yes. much of anything if uh, Brea kept playing his uh, hero ball. Ah, uh, that ball hog. Man, I had Berea. I go, do you, yeah. And he calmed uh, down uh, later in the game because mm-hmm. I guess I'd have been told him, you know. Knock it off. <laughs> yeah, look here, man. I'm trying to evaluate the other guys, you know. <laughs> yeah, let somebody else, you know, yeah. I mean, he he ball hugs too much. Yeah. He could drive you crazy. I mean, he didn't lead the team in field goal attempts or anything, but. Well, he would have. If, yeah. <laughs> if he didn't get pulled from the game. Yeah. Yeah, it's, oh, there you go. <laughs> Sebastian Ball saying, listening to Timberwolves game, a live message there. So if you're listening right now, that's the second time in like two weeks that I've done that where Sebastian <laughs> Balls was giving me a live message. So there you are in live air there, I guess, or semi-live. But <laughs> where are we again? Where are we? <laughs> I'm about about Berea's, uh, ball hogging. Sorry about that. Yeah, see, that's the best part about when you are when you have two of us on broadcast that I'm not like, oh, crap, what was I talking about? And then going something else, but... Yeah, Berea, he drove us absolutely nuts all year last year. and I think that's just, obviously, that's who he is, unfortunately. Yeah. It worked with Dallas just because it's like his it energy thing, and he played his role type of thing, where here he's trying to be a, a hero. Yeah. yeah. Way, way too much. And one thing I noticed since we're on the J.J. Berea topic, uh-huh. I was telling you off air about it, but I obviously got to mention it here because mm-hmm. that's what we're here for. But um, you know how they do on Terminals.com, they do those little... One on one with Rick Adelman, one on one with Rubio, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I've watched all of those, yeah. Yeah, the JJ Barea one, you know, they're like, Are you excited? And it just kind of seemed like, Yeah, he's excited for basketball to start, but it just kind of reeked of like, like, uh, you know, like, I'm not going to be here anyway. Kind of almost, or it's like yeah. something. Like, yeah. I'm probably going to get traded. Yeah, it's like, you know, well, I know I'm on my way out. But, yeah. Uh, d- d- did you notice the same thing? Yeah. Something was different. It wasn't all this, like, last year where you had that big, giant smile, like, yeah, I'm really excited to be here, yeah, you know? Yeah. It seemed more kind of like, a, yeah, I'm excited, you know? Yeah, I'm on, playing on borrowed time over here, you know? Yeah, he kind of figures that he doesn't, it's probably almost like I don't fit that great, you know? He probably yeah. knows it. <laughs> well, I, I don't think he's a horrible player, but he's just no. misused here. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we need, he, he should be, like, the third point guard coming off the bench. Mm-hmm. Like be you know and you know go in when it's you know, he's a hot hand type of thing yeah. and we need him now to win a playoff game on the road in L A you know yeah. something like that but if if he's the hot hand yeah it looks like you now know? he's like the starter which yeah he's not once no way no he's as a starter he's just another Rashad McCants yeah where he's gonna have you pull your hair out me one of my few remaining hairs but <laughs> yeah. he's gonna pull your hair out you know I hated McCants God I hated him. Yeah, he, he was pretty frustrating. Mm-hmm. Is he, it okay that I use that word about him? Hate. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Barrera, Yeah, in the, in the interview, it, you yeah. The uh, first it. thing I was thinking it was like, yeah, yeah, we, we, we both know the truth here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you, it's know, like you could. Let's see what we can get for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, we we hope in it, we hope he's, he is tradable. I got to think he is. Even yeah. his contract is not the not the. The uh, easiest thing to trade, but it's not the worst either. Yeah. It's not like Darko where literally there's nothing there. I mean, there's nothing there. <laughs> mm. It's like, yeah, you're trading a zombie, you know? Walking Dead, there we go. Yeah, there we go. There's a there's an endorsement for the, the Xbox 360. Yes. Okay, sorry. I'm actually trying to think of which teams <laughs> will actually want them. Man, I don't think we'll actually JJ, get yep. much in return. I think we'll... Try to get a pick back from him, mm-hmm. like a second round or something. Yeah, I don't, th- I don't think we'll look for actual player in return unless we package. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't want to say it. A lot of people are, you know, want it to happen and jumping a gun on him. But Williams, yeah, Derek, yep. That's a that's a, that's a tie. Yeah, we'll give up. We're heading in that direction right now. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah I'll, it I'll could happen. Him. But let's just say we'll have to package uh, JJ with someone else. Yeah, see if we want to get someone back. But uh, we'll just. I just want to give him away for. Second round pick. Like yeah. chips. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I do too. It's because, I mean, and part of it is, I, you know, like the other thing about like I'm going to get traded eventually because it's not yeah. going to happen immediately because of obviously Ricky Rubio's situation yeah. and Ridnour too. Yeah. Ridnour is not healthy either. Doggone yeah. it. 
That's why he started last night. So it's like he's there for insurance right now. And eventually it's like you got Rubio, Ridnar, Chavez. You know, you want Chavez to, to play. Yeah, obviously. eventually he's going to take over the uh, backup point guard role, Chavez. Alexi, yeah, he's got backup point guard or backup shooting, yeah. Intrigued by, you're intrigued by Will Conroy, are you? Well, just because um, yes. if he can be just as good as <laughs> J.J., you can trade him sooner. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, I mean, yeah, he's 30 already, believe it or not. He's a he's a vet, Will Conroy out of Seattle. Yeah. He's a buddy of uh, of uh, Brandon Roy's. They're both this. Yeah. Well, Roy's a little bit younger, obviously, but they're both from Seattle, I believe. If I remember correctly with uh, Brandon. I do believe, yes, yeah, Brandon Roy's a Seattle native, isn't he? Yes. Yes, he is, up of Washington. Two years younger than Will Conroy. So that that's really why Conroy's here is because, you know, like the whole reference thing. But supposedly, Gold Con liked him too because that's, you know, Con was up there forever in the Portland area. Look at me bouncing around like a yo yo, like always. <laughs> yeah, he got a block shot, Conroy. That's kind of funny. But the unfortunate part with him, though, yeah, 18 minutes and ineffective, no scoring. Uh, three assists, that's good. One exciting note before we get to probably, we're going to get to Derek Williams pretty soon. That'll be more extensive convo. Yeah. Alexi Chavez looks okay. Yeah, he was he okay. Looks okay. It, but it, man, it, the way he was getting uh, it pushed around was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Skinny, yeah. Yeah, he had like no power, mm-hmm. it seemed. Like they were just, like, oh, during, yeah. Look during like pick huh. and rolls, yeah. or just, just picks, he, he couldn't get past in anyone mm-hmm. to follow his guy. He has no physical, yeah. Yeah, some guys like they come in the league and it's like, yeah, they need to. You need to hit the weights, young man. You're not gonna yeah. play. You know? As soon as he hit it, <laughs> yeah. As soon as he hit it, uh, uh, defender, it's kind of like he was stuck to him, but he couldn't uh. like get around him. For, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, that's gonna be a huge Achilles heel for him at least yeah. early on. He, yeah, needs, he needs to hit, to the, hit weights. the weights. Yeah, he yeah. needs to grab him and say, "Come on, man, come on over here. I'll show you how to <laughs> lift. I can lift five hundred pounds. No, well, approximately <laughs> like four hundred. I mean, Pekovic is." Uh, man, he, oh, he's, he, he's, a beast. A, he's a tank, man, isn't he? Yeah. He can bench like 400 pounds, and that's not estimating, that's not guessing, it's fact. It was, it was in the, you know, it was right there in the paper about back about six months ago. Pretty intense stuff. Yeah, Alexi Chavette, he only he's only 190 and he's six foot six. <laughs> yeah, he's got a he's got a long way to go physically. Yeah, yeah he, he won't see a ton of playing time this year, but He's, he's one of those kind of raw talents that's going to eventually be something, I think. I, I, I think yeah. he, he actually might get a lot of playing time. This year? It's possible. Cross my fingers. I don't it's want possible. anything to happen to Roy. Yes, yeah. And if he does get uh play at uh, the uh, point guard spot, mm-hmm. I want to get time there. Yeah. But I, th- I think he's going to start heating up. I think he's looked a little nervous during the preseason game. Mm-hmm. But I think once he starts going, like I think after All Star break, he he he'll uh, be one of our uh, better players. Mm, Shaved? Yep. It's possible. I mean, he 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 does have skills. To, he didn't make he didn't make a single shot in the game. But one thing that was kind of exciting is, well, in about twenty one minutes, he only had one turnover. That's encouraging. Yeah. And he got four assists. And I didn't. You know, I mean, and that was one of the fears with Shved coming in. He's too out of control to play, be really like any guy uh, running any type of offense. I, I agree for the most part, but at the same time, it looks like the ability's there still. Yeah. It's, it, it is there. It's just a matter of, yeah, the development, maturity, IQ, all that. But yeah. he's definitely, he's got a chance to be something in this league, though, and he got plenty of playing time yesterday, that's for sure. As did Air Bud. <laughs> yeah. Air Bud looks pretty good. Yeah, he was, he was pretty good. And that's, of course, Chase Buttinger for those who was like, who's Air Bud, dang it? No. <laughs> no, I'm sure most people know. Good. Yeah, yeah. You know, disappointed in uh, love. <laughs> yep, yep, I'll let you have the floor here. Go for it. Yep. Yeah, uh, <laughs> early in the game, there was a foul that mm-hmm. Love didn't agree with. Mm-hmm. And he uh, decided to have a conversation with the ref, even though, uh, you know, the game was still going. You know, it, he needs to stop doing that. Uh, yeah. I was like, oh, already he's doing it. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, I guess it's like he needs to get out of his system right now. This guy. I just don't... I don't know. I just, um... I was a huge fan of Love, now now I'm just a fan. Oh, look at you. (laughs) Because he's he's, he's not in shape like he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mm -hmm. he's not. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Gained some weight there. I don't know if it's the uh, volleyball Ooh, that did not. it, but uh, <laughs> volleyball. he needs to get back to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, the volleyball, but yeah, he, in the game, he didn't make a single three. <laughs> over through, over four, yeah. Yeah, it just didn't, he, bad passes, he didn't look to pass. <laughs> yeah, Brandon Roy mm-hmm. was like right behind him, open for a three, he decided mm-hmm. to take a contested shot, it just. Oh, I hate that type of stuff. Mm. Yeah, I mean, he he did his thing with the rebounds, you know, putbacks, but I don't know. It just seemed it didn't seem like an a uh, like an elite score. Mm-hmm. I mean, the good news is it's a you know the whole good thing is it's a preseason game, and I remember Garnett looked pretty crummy in some of the preseason games that I you know I used to be a ticket holder mm-hmm. back in the day. I always mention that. <laughs> I was a ticket holder for like four years, about ten years ago. But anyhow, yeah, I mean, it's it's. It's like preseason franchise player syndrome, partially in my my mind. But yeah, I mean, you do note some stuff, and you remember you mentioned something. Yeah, you also mentioned parts about he never has his hands up, and yeah, remember how he ripped Darko. Then it was just a preseason game years ago too, where he was ripping Darko for not putting his hands up yeah. on a lay a guy getting a layup attempt. Yeah, like like Bucks something game. that he does all the time. Yeah, he's got to watch it. You know. Yeah, it just, it just seems like it. It was here that his work ethic is really high, but the mm-hmm. way he just seemed kind of lazy out there. <laughs> I mean, part of it is, I'm sure, you know, the whole, fr- like I say again, the franchise player syndrome. I mean, the last thing you want is a guy like that to wind up, you know, going crazy, going too hard, and the next thing you know, it's like ACL, and that's it. Because, I mean, it does happen. Blake Griffin had an ACL, and his rookie is what would have been his rookie year. Canceled rookie year until the next year. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, but I really mm. don't like the 0 for 4 from the three-point line. It's frustrating, yeah, because, I mean, the shot's still there. I mean, make it or yeah, don't make it, I yeah, guess. You, I mean, yeah, no matter preseason or not, I mean, you guys should make your shots. Mm-hmm. Five of 14 from the floor overall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not the prettiest thing you ever saw. I mean, yeah, I mean, we're, you're not really, like, superly down on love, though, are you? Well, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we yeah, still I'm, love him. Yeah, yeah I know. You know I just think mm-hmm. he can do a whole lot better, better than that. Yeah, I, I was just making sure to be on the safe side, so we... <laughs> <laughs> the listeners aren't gonna aren't gonna turn on us and be like, "That's it, we're done with these guys." You yeah, know? but the whole attitude <laughs> of uh, complaining like that so yeah. soon. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's like he's got too much of that pinned up frustration that he's like, he he lets stuff get to him too much. That's definitely a that's definitely a, a trait with Kevin I love that I've noticed since he was a yeah. rookie. He he lets stuff bug him too much. Yeah, I, I really don't want that in the leader Mm-mm. at all. You know, no. complaining. And then, yeah, at the Gr- end... I Christian Leitner, like, oh, I didn't say that word. Excuse well, me, sorry, guys. Well, a couple plays after that, <laughs> it seemed like he he just made bad plays, bad passes. Um, well, you hate him. He didn't care about defense. It's just like mm-hmm. he was pouting. Yeah. You know, a couple plays after that. That's the thing. Yeah, he's, uh, he's always had pout in him. And that's what I was... That's when I used to be kind of like a... When I was always against like having Kevin Love and wanting Al Jefferson a couple years ago, mm. yeah, it was like he did pout a lot, and that drove me crazy. Yeah, and of course the whole USA thing. USA treats me better, and all oh, these guys are in the playoffs, and we're yeah. not, and all that stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah, he he does have pout in him. I mean, you could be the biggest Kevin Love fan in the world, but you have to recognize that. Well, if you got if your greatness wrapped surrounded by greatness, wrapped around greatness, dipped in greatness, deep deep fried. Yeah, deep. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Then, yeah. I mean, yeah. Then every call should go your way. Yeah, really. You uh, know, maybe you should pot about it for a, you know a good uh, two minutes. To the yes, rest. every you know, single change anything. Every single call must go his way. It's required. Sorry. Yeah, that was ri- ridiculous. I mean, just let it go, man. Yeah, that's a, yep. That's a, he needs to get better about stuff. I mean, I hope he's not going to hold a grudge against the organization. You know about the kind. Con- you know, the the contract not being the five-year max. I just, I hope he's not going to hold a grudge. That's been my biggest fears from the minute that contract was signed. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out. Scared of it. Yep. I don't know if it's uh, being if, saved for Rubio or... Yeah, or I, 
That could really, ooh, that could be a cluster bleep. Yeah, that would suck, wouldn't or it? Or was love, you know, going off at the mouth and uh, kind of like what he was hearing? <laughs> Something. You know, the divaness came out. Mm-hmm. It could be, a, yeah, there's a lot of possibilities. Look at us speculating. Yeah. Look at us. Oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's a lot of good signs on the team, though, in general. I mean, I'm I'm very excited about the season, though. There's no doubt. Yeah. We got we got you. Yeah, I mean, there's there's very little to be majorly upset about or anything. I mean, love. Well, I want to see Lee. I play. hope he. Yeah. That's oh, what yep. I want to. Yeah, you want to see Malcolm, don't you? Yeah. Just see what he can do. Yeah, he's inactive for some strange reason. Uh, oh yeah, he's isn't he hurt? Yeah. Because I'm like me, yeah, I'm blanking. Excuse me. But. Uh, Yep, I mean, as of right now, too, we bear, uh, Rubio's going to be out until December, most most likely. Yeah. That's the other thing with him as well. We're kind of still sticking with that, unfortunately. Um, so what is uh, Malcolm Lee's deal? I've, um, I'm not completely... I, I, yeah, because I'm not either. I'm, like, blanking now. I'm not completely sure. They've been, they've been, it's been kind of a vague thing. Some people know, obviously, and... We just maybe didn't look into Malcolm too much because yeah. we're kind of stuck on all these. We got this Roy guy and this Kirilenko guy. You know, they're just they're in Chev, you know in Chevet too. They're yeah. just well, too it, distracting. Yeah, yes. well, it's kind of like there's so many guys to evaluate. It's like one guy goes down. I was like, okay, well, I can focus on the other guy who I want to know about. Yeah. Whereas whereas Lee team. is yeah. Whereas Lee's kind of like you know like twelfth guy pretty much right now. Yeah, it's like we're real good to him sooner or later. Mm-hmm. It's one of those things. <laughs> Rudy Rehab and Ridnour is you know, he's still out. Oh, that sucks. He was he's been out since like you know for a while. Yeah, we definitely need a uh, cool hand loop since uh, a good player. Yes, we don't want JJ uh, being the starter. No, or or even the immediate backup. Yeah, I don't even want him. Yeah, I don't want him be yeah. a backup either. <laughs> Maybe an occasional third guard and or you know in a, in a hot you know hot hot hand situation he could yeah. be valuable. But he's one of those guys you know like Anthony Peeler. Every, like every every Timberwolves team has a guy like JJ Barea over the years. Like Anthony Peeler was that guy years ago, where he would you know he's one of those guys. They Timberwolves would count on him too much, and it would kill us. Where it's just like okay, he's got the hot hands. Okay, keep feeding him. Up oh, now he's now the hands are starting to cool off. Set him down. Yeah. And then up oh, he missed. You know he, he looks cold coming into the game. Set him down, and that's it. Oh, he's got hot hands again the next game. You know, they should have managed that better, but it's almost like Anthony Peeler was holding them hostage or something. Or the best example, uh, Troy Hudson. Yeah, Hudson was the ultimate, yeah. Laker Slayer. The Laker Slayer. was the, That was an awesome deal. But yeah, he was the ultimate, yeah, the <laughs> ultimate guy where if he's not hot, you need to just sit him down and that's yeah. it. You can't count on him. You can't do that. It's going to kill us. Yeah, it's always, you know, everyone looks back on that Laker game. Well, he, he can get hot. Yeah, and it's like it was against one team and yeah. one one time, you know, a lot of months ago. <laughs> yeah, you know, Berea. Yeah, Berea was a Lakers slayer as well, of course. Yes, when he was a Dallas Maverick. Yeah, with Minnesota, I don't think anybody was. The Lake, the Lakers are wolf slayers, unfortunately. Yeah. I, boy, yeah. do I hate saying that. I hate it. Uh. So I'm not celebrating it. I hate it. Yeah, if you notice the frustration coming out of the forecaster right there. Yeah, it's. I hate playing the Lakers right, you know, like over the last 15, 25 years, whatever it's been. Yeah. <laughs> I Every hate game, playing them. I'm thinking we're, we're finally going to beat them. Yeah, and then it's like uh, 20 points later. It's like, fudge. Fudge knuckers. There you go. I'm trying not to say we're too much. Some, there. Yeah, or else we get some type of injury. Thank you, uh, Bynum. Mm hmm. To Beasley. Mm hmm. The old the twist of the twist of the back, uh, elbow, shoulder, all that foolishness. Yeah. Trying to make a football like he thinks he's a linebacker type of deal. Yeah. <laughs> Even that would be illegal in the NFL. Illegal hands to the face, fifteen yard penalty. Okay, sorry. <laughs> football on the mind. I, gee, I wonder why. Right? You got the purple mafia host hosting Timberwolves explosion. Yes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, you One in the same. One in the same. That's scary, actually. It's, a, it, it's an it's an honor, folks. It's an honor. Yep. Uh oh. Something on your mind. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> no, it's cool. Uh, he's having fun over here. Uh, so, well, we're, again, we're excited. We don't mean to be too negative on love, but, you know, he's got faults and drive you crazy yeah. sometimes, but 
yeah, you know, every franchise player is going to drive their f- big, their fan, their podcast host crazy. Yeah. I mean, you, you should have listened to Run and Gun Phoenix Suns. They get uh, Dave Eng got pretty frustrated with Amari Stoudemire years ago. I mean, it was all the time, but he still loved him. Still loved him. You know, it's a love hate relationship, or it's a you love him, but it's like oh, you want him to succeed so bad, you hate to see certain things. That's what it is. Yeah, you know that that's all it is, actually, isn't it? Yep. So uh, trade love trade. Oh, you didn't say. Why did you say that? He's just I can't teasing. take it anymore. Really? Are you serious? Oh my god! Oh my god! What do you want for love? Robin Lopez. Oh, look at you! I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> You're going to send another guy to Phoenix, huh? Oh, I think the oh, fork... Wesley back, you know? Oh, this guy. I'm telling you... You're going to marry Wesley over here. He's going to be a terror. Oh. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Like Mike Jones said, he's going to be a terror. Oh, oh Mike, Mike James. Mike yeah, James. That yeah, that guy was a... Yeah, it's one of those deals where it's like Jones, James, ah, you know. That's, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> he, he, he thought he was he, he thought he was yeah. Gary Payton in his prime. Yeah, I remember the interview. He's uh, he, a terror. He convinced yeah. me. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, this guy. He's the next Payton, Gary Payton, and no, he's just Mike Jones. Uh, James, excuse me. Um, Mickey James, Mickey Jones. No, wait, what was his name again? Uh, yeah, it's one of the. <laughs> he was a complete like nobody. Like within within one year, yeah. when the yeah, remember that. He was here for that one year, was a complete a-hole, like off the charts a-hole. Like Garnett wanted him dead pretty much. And then he went to like New Orleans or something. He was like fourth string basically. Like yeah. like who's this guy? Yeah. Like he would he would only go in like if there was like a firing squad on the team, you know? Yeah, the Bulls guy <laughs> just uh just because he knew the plays. Yeah. He... Yeah, was, yeah, he went to the Bulls for that. Yep. Yeah. That was a joke. Mike yeah, what if yeah. Yeah, but, but Wesley, I, I'm telling you, even though we, uh, he didn't make any uh, threes, that Phoenix or, or did he? Yep. Or did he? Look at you, you and your Phoenix Suns. Yeah, I have a feeling the forecasters going to be talking about Phoenix when we get to those playoff things, which we will oh, be headed yeah. to very shortly. Here, we headed that direction. I mean, look at this guy. He to, I miss him already. He's already he's scouting the. I miss him already. He's scouting the Suns. Oh, you're hurting my feelings. Yeah, two know. of nine from three, but uh, two of yeah, that's the thing. Why is he shooting nine three pointers? Yeah, nine. That's that, that is a lot. Does he think he's Rashad McCants or that's something? That's a lot. Yeah, good thing you went here so we could. Yeah, because I remember we were going to talk about it. Yeah, nine three pointer attempts. Really, really, two of nine. It's one of the old take a hint type situations. Like your your shot's not going in. Can you please? chill a little bit? Really? You know? Yeah. I hate that crap. And, and even though he's 2 of 9... Maybe it's the coach telling him to keep shooting, I guess. Yeah. Who knows? His football percentage is better than Love's, which is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's horrifying. I have 7 of 15 versus 4 of 15. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the math adds up there, yes. And Beasley with basically the exact same numbers used as we saw here last year, pretty much. 14 points and 5 of 9 type of thing. Sometimes the field goal percentage was worse. Yeah, you just love Phoenix Suns, don't yeah, you? Yeah, three turnovers. You know. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to watch Same the guy. game, but um, no. I'm guessing his defense wasn't wasn't that great. No, it couldn't have been. Yeah, the Sacramento is getting 102. I mean, this is not the Rick Edelman Sacramento either. They're this crappy like team with no offense basically outside of Demarcus Cousins. I mean, Tyreek Evans has lost whatever gift he had in his rookie year. I know that much. Yeah. He's got nothing left. Well, okay, I didn't say that. He's just, he's a mental case is what I should say. Oh, boy. So, are you ready to start the playoff predictions? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, we've pretty much said what we need to say about the Wolves. So we had a long season preview two weeks ago and had that spectacular uh, turnout for that show. And, again, thank you very, very, very much. It's funny, though, how Sebastian Wolves said he's listening to Timberwolves Explosion, and he tells us that right when we're recording Timberwolves Explosion. I, I, I love that. I love that. Do you like that? It just makes us feel special. <laughs> Doesn't it, though? So, yeah, we have our uh, picks, like we mentioned earlier. Um, why do I keep saying um? So, yeah, we're going one through eight. We'll start in the east since it's not our conference. Obviously, that'd be more intelligent, wouldn't it? Okay. All right. So, we're going to do it kind of back and forth. We're either like, who's your number one? Okay, now it's my turn. So, we'll do it that way. Right. Would you like to start? 
Huh? Um, I'm pretty, we're pretty much in agreement to this. Uh, First two, at least, yeah. <laughs> Brooklyn Nets. Yes, yep. Oh, and one thing, too, I'll, I'll note this real quick. We uh, swore secrecy on our lists to not look at each other's lists. We want to keep the element of surprise for each other because we're, we're not acting this out but when we say, what? You know, one of those type of deals if we disagree or surprised by choice. So we wrote down our list and just swore not to show the other host, you know. <laughs> All right, sorry. Go ahead. Who's your number one? Who's number one in the East? Safest pick ever, right? The Heat. You didn't want to say it, did you? That's why he's on tape delay there. Yeah, it's the Heat. It's the Heat. And, yes, I picked the Heat as well. Looks like you had nothing to add to that, did you? (laughs) But then again, oh, we might as well say this real quick, because, I mean, really, you were making some nice points about the Heat off mic about a half hour ago. Oh, yeah. With Richard and, uh, and, yeah. Yeah, I thought Richard would have just been a... An okay pickup. But Just a coaster, yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't think so. I mean, he's on a winning team now. Mm-hmm. He looked a whole lot better mm-hmm. while seeing him throughout the years. He looks good. I mean, we were watching the replay of the uh, Chinese game against yeah. Clippers. Yes, that's who it was. In Beijing, you know. Yeah, yeah again, it's, it's preseason, but still, his attitude versus what, you know, what I saw from Love. Yeah. Yes, Rashard looked <laughs> re-energized. Yeah, and, and you think about it. See, most see that's the exact thing right there. Most people say, yeah, it's preseason, but, well, you'd think if Richard Lewis is like a bum, you'd think he'd really slack off in the yeah. preseason. Like, eh, you yeah, you know, yeah, I'm just here for the just here for the money, you know, and, yeah. and, and the ring. Here for the money and the ring. Yeah. Dang it. But, no, yeah, he looks uh, rejuvenated a bit. Yeah, I mean, in preseason, you can take a couple things uh, away from it. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm sorry. You got to make open shots. Yeah. Ray Allen, holy cow! Don't complain yeah. to refs. Yeah. You know, just mm-hmm. but you know the the way they carry themselves. Yeah, you know, actually, some guys, you know, they can say, "Okay, I don't want to get injured," mm-hmm. but you know, if you have the heart to play, if you really want to play, then mm-hmm. you'll do it. Whether whether it's pre not, you're, you're going to play hard. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, you got to. Sorry, if, apologize if there was a chop there. I had to check something, but yeah, I mean, you need to play hard, and yeah. then, you know. Not too hard. You don't want to get hurt, but yeah. at the same time, yeah. I mean, at least, at least, kind of, you know, you want to get the blood flowing. You want to, yeah. yeah. you want to be comfortable out there to a point yeah, when the regular season starts. Yeah, you want to at least, you want to at least try to look good. Yeah, you know, try to look, try to get that feel for the game ready for the regular yeah, season. That's what it's for. Yeah, it's not about necessarily like yeah, let's just coast through this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean Miami looks like like they have a very good chance of returning to the finals again. I would say, yeah, very legit chance of it. Well, the, whether they win it or not, that's yet to be seen. Obviously, they have to earn it. <sighs> so yeah, number two. So yeah, we could kind of do the back and forth deal. Like you okay. went first, now I go first. You know what I mean? And it's back and forth again. Right. So number two, we probably both agree on this again. And it, yeah, it, sometimes it seems like we're it might be like riding the coattails of last year, but. But no, it's the additions as well, though, of the Boston Celtics. I am, yeah, they lost Ray Allen, and he looked pretty good at Miami so far, hitting those threes. Yeah, he's got he's he's got his shot back. It looked like he was on his last leg last year with Boston, but he looks healthier now. And well, mm. good luck to him. I, I know you hate that because mm. that's your favorite player over a long period of time. There, yeah, he was was yep he was. <laughs> until Just like he, uh, Garnett. Just like, oh, how dare you say Garnett? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry. I mean, yeah, Garnett was mine for a long time too. But yeah, Boston Celtics taking a Garnett. Yeah, we. I have him them as number two. Um, I have. We'll get to reasons why I didn't pick a, the other certain team that some people might be thinking there later when we get to them way down there. <laughs> but no, I mean Boston's additions were very good. You got Jason Terry. You got. Uh, yeah. You got Darko. Okay, sorry. I, I better not get back into that for another 20 minutes. <laughs> but no, I mean... Oh, man. I'm blanking right now. Uh, they... They definitely... Uh, I think they're going to be right back at it again. What am I doing? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think they're going to be right back in the mix. You know, I almost said I have a mind not to pick them number two because they always seem to kind of coast through the regular season and then pick up in the rope... In the, what are they called? The... Uh, they tend to pick it up in the postseason, but no, I mean, I, I think they're going to have a very good record. You know, yeah. they Jeff Green's coming back. That's helpful. It's not, not the biggest addition ever. 
Fab Mello is a wonderful draft pick, I think. Yeah, and they even Hopefully. grabbed our guy. And they grabbed Darker, like you mentioned, right? Yeah. Is, no, of course. Is that who you mean? Oh, that's right. That's right. Yes, that was the other major addition that I was. My brain was not catching on for a second there. Courtney Lee is a really, really good addition. Yeah. He's a legit starting shooting guard in the NBA. Absolutely. And he can come off the bench, too. Jason Terry's probably the best third guard in the NBA since Vinny Johnson. You know, he's a damn good shooting guard, or uh, uh, third guard. Jared Selinger is kind of Selinger, Selinger. I'm used to Buttinger now, so I've got that in my head. Uh, he's kind of slow and prodding, but he was touted high at one point for a reason. We'll see. Obviously, Rajon Rondo is an awesome player, no doubt. Uh-oh, what's going on? I'm seeing some, some very big eyes right here. <laughs> oh, no, that, that's yeah. from last year. Yeah, he was, was freaking out about Darko's salary there. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't sure when I saw it. Well, yeah, it's like Dark, Darko can't be making $5 million a year with yeah. Boston, can he? Yeah, no, he no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was left over from the same contract. It's just stuck on the system here. Yeah, yeah. even though it's not accurate. Yeah, he's like, what is it <laughs> That was funny, those eyes. <coughs> deep but team. he deserves that and more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he does. But, no, they're a deep team, and there's no reason for me to not believe they can be the number two team in the yeah. East. And I better let you Audrey. say it. So, yeah, who's your yep, number Boston. two? Yep, Boston. I probably still like your thunder, didn't I? Ah, uh, i gotta, I got to learn not to do that. I'm a great minds think alike. Yes, thank so you. Same, same reasons. Same <laughs> reasons. Look at uh, this Jeff guy. Green. Yeah. yeah, I wonder what he can do. Yeah. Uh, get a full season out of him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's been a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Rado's still going to produce. Uh, hopefully, I, I don't know what's going on with Pierce. Uh, during the playoffs, he just seemed to, uh, I couldn't understand the foul. It was weird. Yeah. Falling out. It was weird. Yeah. It really, yeah, it was weird. Something was not there with him. Yeah, I don't know if he was injured. It just, uh, he just foul out. It seemed like it was on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, you know? I, mean, I, I remember the look on his face in game two when he fouled out, and he's just kind of like, yeah. eh, like he's trying, almost like he's trying not to cry, but at the same time, almost like, yeah, this this sucks, you know, or like I don't really want to deal with this type of. Yeah, he almost had that look in his eye, like I didn't want to deal with it, you know. It's like what? Yeah, it's kind of like I'm injured, but the coach won't take me out, so let me, uh, you know, foul myself out. Mm-hmm. That type of deal. <laughs> kind of like one time, I'll admit, I, you know, I was it's so cold. freaking cold and windy out many years ago in baseball. Mm-hmm. I struck out on purpose. Because I was just, it's too damn cold and windy. I'm going to die <laughs> out here. I was embarrassed, I'm embarrassed to admit it, but yeah, okay, I didn't say that. <laughs> this was like way back in the day. Well, I mean, I tried, but at the same time, it's like, okay, good, I struck out, and I can go sit down <laughs> and warm up in the, <laughs> you know, get away from the wind. It was bleeping cold. This was like 95, 94, 95. I, yep. I know, that was really See dumb, wasn't it? I didn't mean to. I mean, we. I think we won the game. <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't. We didn't win any games, that stupid team. But maybe one out of... Yeah, okay. <laughs> one out of a million. No, I'm just kidding. We were like Charlie Brown's baseball team, you know? <laughs> yeah, I kind of didn't win many. <laughs> so, yeah, go go Celtics, right? So yeah. They look good. They look good. So, number three, uh, it's your it, call. It's... I mean, honestly, after watching that preseason, because mm-hmm. this is all based on Hibbert. <gasps> How dare you? But yeah, it was my. It was was. You no, have the oh, no, no, excuse me. Well, I did. You're looking at the wrong one. Up. Yeah, you moved him up. No, I did. Hmm. Um, Third, Philadelphia. You have Philadelphia number three. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It, it just it just seems like a toss up because everybody. I mean, the Heat, Boston, they're pretty much a lock. But everyone yeah. else, it, it comes down to. Can star players play at the same level they did last season for mm-hmm. better mm-hmm. injuries? Philadelphia, huh? Yeah. Mm. But, I mean, as of now, I I mean, it was, was Philly. Mm-hmm. But then, oh, you changed it to Indy? Or no, wait, oh, no, who's your third? It, is it, is this it is changing because... It, <laughs> Look at you in your only, preseason. Yeah, because the Nets, you don't know what they can do yet, you know? Look with at the, you and your dishes they have. Your your preseason analysis. Look at yeah, this that was guy, bad, right? Yeah, look at you. Okay, I'll call hey, but honestly, I mean, after the first <laughs> two, I mean, you can't really say right now. I mean, it's That's like a the lot problem. of yeah, it's a lot of additions, a lot of trades, a lot of injuries. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The third the third pick and beyond in the Eastern Conference is like going to the casino right now and yeah. just saying, ah, oh, just give me some numbers. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> 
Oh, so so yeah. you tell me Toronto's going to be third? Nah, yeah. okay, I guess, I guess, whatever, maybe it'll happen, you know? Yeah, we can't really go wrong. <laughs> I mean, uh, probably even wants to say the Hawks. Yeah, I really want to do it also. I better uh, be quiet, uh, though, yeah, Philly, until it's my turn. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, man. What? Uh, Look at this guy getting all wishy-washy. Okay, I mean, sorry. New York is, <laughs> true, it's, it, it is like that, though, yeah, it, this was really hard. Yeah. The West was a little bit easier. This was hard, folks. I, I think I'm gonna say uh, this was very hard. We were we were doing this last night. Our preparation, yeah. not easy, not easy. Yeah, it's it's fun, minutes. but it's not easy. <laughs> it, it's fun. I mean, there's nothing. It's not like you know having to pick up uh, crap on a farm. You know, yeah. picking up cow crap on a farm to ship off to uh, fertilizer factories. But okay, sorry. I'm gonna say New York. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Whoa, that's a big one. That's a big one. They have the talent to get it. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing. I'll let you. Yep. That's the thing. They, they still have the talent. A lot of other teams have talent, and they, but they've also, like uh, Philly, mm-hmm. gained by them. But they lose a couple of big-time scorers for their team. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and then since they've done that, I mean, Turner needs to turn that up. You know? The Philly, yep. Yeah. But I think uh, right now, uh, excuse me, on paper, mm-hmm. New York, New York, Felton. Yeah, they did get Felton back. That's a big, yeah. you know. And a lot of people, I don't know, other shows are kind of like making fun of the idea of Felton going back to. Uh, I'm not sure if it was uh, Rip City Bad Boys or if it was Courtside Podcast. But yeah, well, Bobby, the way, well, well, yeah, since certain, yeah, I mean. Yeah, might as well mention it right now. Rip City Podcast, very wonderful show. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, yeah. It was with, uh, it was Tony was checking it out. That's the the Detroit guy of the two. Rip City, you know, obviously Portland and Detroit. So I, that's why I made a joke about the perfect franchise face for that show would be Rasheed Wallace because he was really good on both of those teams. <laughs> he was really good on both, you know. Um, yeah, Rip City Bad Boys. Do do check that out. Portland and Detroit show. Portland fans, or no, uh, they're both in Portland. One, Tony's the Detroit guy, and Tristan is the Portland Trailblazers guy. Yes, but anyhow, <laughs> I think they're making fun of Raymond Felton going back to New York a little bit. Um, he did play. He, he did help the Knicks. He made them a lot better when he was there. Is what I'm trying to say. Before the Carmelo trade, and then they made the all those guys made the Nuggets really good. We'll be talking about them pretty soon, very soon, <laughs> when we get to the West. Very early. Okay, I didn't say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at was foreshadowing. <laughs> Marcus Cabby's back with the Knicks, which is hilarious. Ronnie Brewer? Ronnie's that son of a gun. Yep, Ronnie Brewer. That's a nice addition. It just is. You know, he's not great, but he's a, he's good, mm-hmm. you know? I like Steve Novak. Yeah, Novak can play a bit. Novak can play a little bit. J.J. Jason Kidd, that's kind of funny, but... No, Amari can play a little bit. Yeah, some Amari... Oh yeah, he he better he better not <laughs> cut his hand up though. But so he tried to turn his hand into a vest. You know the the the, the what do they call those the the black lines in basketball? Yeah, it looked like turned, a baseball. Yeah, it looked like a it did. Yeah, oh yeah, because the stitches. What am I saying? Yeah, he's trying to throw an inside. He's trying to throw one of those four seam fastballs with his stitches. Yes, he'd be a good pitcher. Okay, sorry. Yeah, that was a uh, Rasheed Wallace is back playing. Yeah, they're. They have a lot of old guys in that team. Kurt Thomas, Rasheed Wallace, uh, Marcus Camby, Jason Kidd. Good God, they're old. Wow. And they have some young talent. Oldest team. Yeah, it's weird. You know, you, you think of that they got these young guys, but then they have these really old guys. <laughs> Kurt Thomas just wears the number 40, and he is 40. Isn't that crazy? Kurt Thomas is still playing? Yeah. Jeez. Who's this day older than, uh, than Grant? You better dust off the Oakley jersey here, guys. You better dust it off. He's coming back. Chuck Oakley is coming back. Okay, that's I better chill out now. Um, it's a good, uh, interesting pick, though. So my number three, Atlanta. Yes. I like the way they're coached under uh, Larry Drew. I, yeah, that, I like Atlanta. Been, yeah, it's, but now I know who... Uh my fourth pick is. Yeah. So I guess we can kind of, like, talk about Atlanta kind of combined since that'll be your yeah. next move. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Atlanta. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they lost Joe Johnson, but they gained some pieces. You get, yeah. Dev, Devin Harris, uh, he kind of bugs me, and he's not, he really underachieved in New, uh, yeah. 
Not New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, New Jersey. Well, no, Utah. I can't talk Utah. And the other team in New Jersey, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's even longer. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, it's a new place again. We'll see what happens. But they also gained uh, Lou, Lou uh, Williams. Yeah, Anthony. And they got, which one? Oh, Morrow. Yeah, they got Morrow and Corver. So they got a couple of shooters right there. Um, you still have Josh Smith, which we like a lot. You got Al Horford, which they really like. He's got to be the he's probably the franchise player at this point, for the most part. Okay, Johan Petro, yeah, yeah I saw that. there yeah, it is. So <laughs> got about him. <laughs> Deshaun Stevenson is a hawk. Uh, Anthony Jeff Teague. Tolliver. That's our guy. Okay, he's a piece. I mean, yeah, it's the Eastern Conference where Lou. you know. Well, who is it? Lou. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why I mentioned Lou Williams. Yep. yep. That's a nice addition. He's crazy. He's already in his seventh season. He's only 25. That tells you, yeah. That guy started very early. Very early, didn't he? Yeah. Yes. But no, it's a talented team, and I like the way Larry Drew, the team plays really well for him. Uh, it's funny how the Knicks uh, have uh, Mike Woodson also, who was the Hawks coach though for the last several years. Yeah. It's kind of funny, you know, the two teams <laughs> right in this yeah. the mid to upper Eastern Conference rankings for us. Um, well, in your case, I, yeah, the Knicks a little bit further down, but it's not because I hate them. It's just because of uh, the way the way East is. You kind of you make it. It's it's more of a mixed opinion thing in the Eastern Conference, but I think the Hawks have a chance to be pretty good. They yeah. they were they were very strong last year, actually. I thought they were going to die almost, and then no, they didn't. So, yeah, yeah, they just seemed to make the first round exit. It seemed like they weren't going yeah. anywhere. Yeah. They do that a lot. <laughs> they do. They actually, they waited too long for the trades. I thought they would have made trades, you know, a couple of seasons ago. Mm-hmm. Like the Joe Johnson type move. Yeah, yeah. That's that's good that they unloaded that salary. That was really good, actually. Yeah. I mean, they gained some in return, like Devin, with about nine and a half mil a year, but still. Still. I mean, yeah, and Lou Williams. But Lou Williams is good, though. Um, not bad. Not bad, really. I don't think you know Anthony Morrow is one of the best shooters in basketball, no doubt. Kind of like the Hawks a little bit. Kind of do. So yeah, so you went from three four. So then I guess I have to come back to four. Unless you have anything else to add. No. Number four, I have the Pacers. Yes, I think the Pacers are going to stay fairly decent. They'll be in that middle ranking in the postseason for the Eastern Conference, and I think they're you know. They're going to either just get to the first or second round, and that's about it. Uh, but, you know, I've always liked the talent on the team. Yeah, DJ Augustine is now the starting point guard as the, uh, what's his name? Oh, what's his name? You know, he didn't do anything on the Pacers. Darren Collison. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. What the yeah. hell? What happened uh, with that? What the hell? Yeah, he was so good with uh, uh, the, Hornets. the Hornets as a rookie. And then ever since, it's like, Yeah, for me, really. it was kind of like uh, Chris Paul who? Yeah, remember that? Playing so well, yeah. He was playing so good. I don't know if it was the system there or what, but in Indiana it just wasn't the same. Uh, We'll see what DJ Augustine does, former Charlotte Bobcat. I'm sure he really enjoyed his time there. (laughs) He's okay. Yeah, Yeah. he he played okay in in the uh, preseason. Uh, DJ? Yeah. Yeah, he's an okay player. He's not going to turn anybody's head. He's not going to turn any heads. They got Sundiata Gaines too. Yes, another New Jersey or a former New Jersey net there. We'll see how that goes. Paul George, we both love oh, him. He's solid, yeah. Yeah, we're we're pretty much in agreement. He's like you could argue he's the best player on that team. Yeah, because Danny Granger drove. Yeah, he was lousy. They're doing the playoffs. Oh man, it just well, actually both of them just disappeared. Oh, who was the other one? Oh, George oh, dude. Yeah. yeah, that is kind of sad when you think about it. Yeah, I mean Granger has a little disappearability to him. That was kind of if if that's a word. I don't think it is. It is now. <laughs> this team is filled with disappearability, isn't it? It's you know you got Roy Hibbert who likes to disappear too. Oh yeah, he disappeared to the bench. That's drives you crazy. He, there's one moment it's like this guy is on the verge of being like you know one of the top centers in all the yeah. basketball, and then it's okay. He's not going to be a top center right now, is he? Yeah, <laughs> he completely disappeared in the beginning of the season. I was like, wow. Yeah. 
And then at the end of the year, it's like, oh, it's like, wow. The other way, the other yeah. type of wow, like, wow. But actually, <laughs> yeah, well, he was well, the one, like the best player during the, you know in the playoffs there. Mm-hmm. He he had some good runs, didn't he? Yeah, against the Miami Heat because like, well, I mean, he wasn't there in the game most of the time because mm-hmm. of Hibbert. Mm-hmm. And the first Joel couldn't quite handle him, could he? The first Joel, Joel Anthony. Oh. Let me just call him that because I just <laughs> got to come up with some wacky nickname for a sorry guy like that. Sorry, center, I should say. Maybe he's a nice person, but gotta, you know, he's not that good of a player, really. Um, Gerald Green was an addition, another former New Jersey Net. Those Nets like to go to Indiana, I guess. Yeah. Okay, Brooklyn Net. I'm going to remember, but they were New Jersey when they were there, so I guess. Uh, Indiana is one of those quirky teams. They're another team where they could be so damn good, and then it's like, ah, fooey. They blew it again, you know, yeah. fooey. I'm using funny words. Uh, they blew it again. They just can't get it done, can they? No. <laughs> but they will be in the playoffs, with all that said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so who's your, wait, you already said four. Yeah. So I guess you start with the five then. Yeah, you're number five. Like, I don't know. This is all depending on a couple of the players on this team. Uh, yeah. Chicago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on Boozer, Noah, and Dang. Yeah. Yeah. You really have to depend on those guys, especially early in the year. Yeah. Oh, my God, do they have to depend on them. Yeah. If they don't, it's... Man, it's... I bet some listeners are like, really, you'd waited that long to pick Chicago? Yeah, we did. That should be in generous. Yeah, because <laughs> losers, you know, I mean, there, it's a lot of empty stats with those guys. Yeah. Luol Deng's the kind of guy, he could tweak his ankle or something in the shower, and he's out for like six like six to eight weeks. He's just yeah. one of those kind of guys. And he stays hurt when he's playing, it seems like, sometimes. And then next thing you know, he's making 25 points against Miami. You know, it's like, I, I, I don't know. It's the yeah. inconsistency reigns in Chicago when Derrick Rose is not there. <laughs> And yeah, it's the it's the it's the old Bulls like when the in the in, in the eighties when it was the Jordanettes or was like what were they called Jordanaires or something? I forget now I'm blanking. I should know this. But why am I not? I mean I'm an NBA historian. I should know it. I think it was the Jordanaires. Where it was a one man show thing where it's the same thing kind of with Derrick Rose right now. I, yeah. I think where you have guys that should be good but they're eh, yeah. you know eh. Yeah, we probably, we know what uh, Noah can do, but it's it's Boozer who's the one who's gonna have to, you know, try scoring more. And they I lost wish. they lost a lot of key players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and they Ronnie. gained who was it? Ronnie. Oh yeah, they lost Ronnie Brewer. They gained Kirk, Captain Kirk, though. Yes. And yeah, by the way, for the record, my fifth is Chicago as well. It's funny how we think alike, even though we did not even. You know, write these. We didn't. We didn't know the other person wrote them down, so we promised we did not coat tell each other here. Ah, uh, they got Nate Robinson. Well, what's going on? Did they get Marco Yards? Did they, Marco Yards? Yeah. This can't be true. This has got to be a. Uh, I, why am I uh, seeing this word here? There are some rumors about uh, Marco Yards. What the flip? So it up. I'm gonna have a. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's one thing if Darko Milosevic goes through Boston, but Marco freaking Yarich. Okay, I'm about to. <sighs> oh my god! I'm, uh, I think I'm about <sighs> to tune in to the to the Bulls game. It's not. A... What is going on? Okay, it's it's got to be a training camp type of thing, right? Uh, yeah, and yeah, I mean, because we don't follow every single training camp roster across the league, we're going to openly admit it. But just seeing that name on anybody's. Uh, Marco Yarich was one of the guys that single-handedly destroyed the Minnesota Timberwolves last time they were, you know, just barely outing the... Oh, I can't talk. Just barely, you know, it was the year after or so the Timberwolves had missed the playoffs. And Marco Yarich was one of the, you know, the Marco Yarich trade is one of the things that single-handedly ended the Timberwolves, like, chances of being a playoff team. This guy is looking up Adriana Lima right in front of me. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you get Lima on your team. Marco Yarish's wife, yes, one of the amazing sculptures of all time. And we're so yes. close to getting her on the team. This guy, you want to be back when they were showing uh, 
uh, Tony Parker's uh, wife. But we could have had Lima. <laughs> Tony Parker's wife. I don't even like her, do you? I don't know. She looks I'm like not a fan, no. she looks like the kind of person that you just be yeah they would just not like stick a knife in your back. And doesn't she? She just looks like the kind of person. <laughs> this one is a little different though. Um, yeah. Anyhow, look at we're getting we're getting off track here. Great really, addition. really quickly. Great addition. Yeah, Chicago. Yeah, you got your. Uh, I, this can't be real, can it? Could, I, I. This is one of those distractions that was so unexpected. Really? You know, Marco Yarich is on the Bulls roster right now. I I got to think it's not going to last, but any thought of even giving him a chance, uh, really? Really? Mm. Boy, Derek Rose must really be hurt, huh? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> or something. Really? I, I just can't believe... They couldn't find somebody better than that? I Really? It's one thing. See, Darko's a center... And centers are like a di- you know, they're not a dime a dozen. Like guards are a dime a dozen, really. Yeah. Centers, really? Or I mean, yards? Though I mean, I, I I don't know. I'm confused. I hope this is some kind of mistake, some <laughs> kind of typo. But yeah, we don't have much faith in the Bulls. We talked about them last uh, show. Vlad, Vlad Rad, all those guys. Vlad Romanovich. Yeah. We like, uh, or I kind of like Nate Robinson, but he's not that great. I think he fits better on a Golden State type team than the Bulls. Yeah, you know, I actually really liked him on the Warriors last year. To be honest, mm-hmm. I, I did. Yep, and we'll get to Pumpa and Train very soon when we get to the Western Conference. That's that that basketball show. Okay, sorry, it's awesome, awesome show. Oh, I can't wait to talk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Bulls. I mean, yeah, we have them both ranked fifth. That's about it. Yeah. Should we move on? Yeah. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're distracted. That was uh, something else right there. That was some nice pictures. But So I guess now it's time for me to pick six. That will be the Brooklyn Nets. Yep. Rusty and PMAC, the crossover show. Do check that out. Yep, yep, yep. Sportsstuff.com. All right, we're plugging a, lot of, plugging a lot of podcasts here. Hopefully we're not driving you crazy out there. But, yeah, it's a great show, the crossover. Yeah, I mean it's more basketball listening. You can more basketball shows you can listen to, and since we're talking about all these different teams and these guys, yeah, the New York Knicks also. P Mac is the Knicks team, or the the guy, the podcaster of the Knicks on that show, and Brooklyn Nets. Rusty is the main guy for that, so that's what the crossover is about. The two new the the New York market, you could say. I have the Nets sixth. Um, yeah, Marshawn Brooks is the shooting guard. We wish we had. Joe Johnson is the shooting guard we don't care if we have or not because of his price tag. <laughs> I, I think the Nets are a playoff team, believe it or not. With uh, I think this uh, acquisition of Joe Johnson and such finally puts his team in the postseason. Josh Childress is on the roster as well. That's funny. Brooks is going to continue to develop and improve, i got to think. The other Brooks, Marshawn Brooks. Yep. Andre Blatch is on the roster right now. That's an yeah. interesting move. That's a that's a good move, actually. Yep. Even though he's a mental gidget. Yeah, Reggie Heaven is on the roster. Josh Childress, I think I just mentioned him. Gerald Wallace is on the team. Yes, he is. They resigned him. Good team. Steakhouse. Steak, Steakhouse. Jerry Steakhouse is uh, back in there. Yeah. What the heck? A lot of veterans, a lot of young talent. Yeah, they're, oh, yeah, and there's a guy named Darren Williams on the roster, too. I forgot about that one. No. <laughs> you need, you need yeah. Reggie Evans to give you some extra flops. Man. Flops and rebounds and flops, yeah. Chris Humphreys is a great rebounder, too, I think, out of Minnesota. Yep. Yes, sir. University of Minnesota. And, of course, played for the Hopkins Royals. Yes. Hopkins, Minnesota, of course. Um, yeah, I think they're a playoff team. Yeah. I... And I love Brooklyn more than New Jersey. It just sounds cool. I'm not a Jay-Z fan or anything, especially when we, you know. <laughs> Those triangle images he makes in his photographs, kind of weird. But, yeah. yeah, that's another story you could look up sometime if you're curious what that symbolizes. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, who's your sixth seed? Same, Nets. Wow, look at us. We're like, what are we, twins? It's like, <laughs> we're, that's creepy. We've been doing this show too long, haven't we? We're like twins. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> <laughs> them coughing to death. Oh, anything you want to add to the Nets combo? Oh, or I'm I'm very interested in what uh, Brooks can uh, develop into. 
Marshawn? Yeah. Yeah, he is so good, man. Will he be the uh, next a, Kobe? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I don't think he's that. <laughs> I don't think he's that he, good. He's but trying to be. He's trying to be. Is he that good? Look at this guy talking about Kobe and Rashawn Brooks. Look at you. Oh, he's he's got some talent though. He's I mean, trying carry, he was trying to carry himself like Brooks. I mean, like uh, Kobe trying to have the Kobe that's, swagger. That's not good. <laughs> I think better settle down with that, you know, with this yeah, 13, yeah, 13, points, uh, 13 points a game. What the hell, you know? Well, the way the way he plays, he's, he's trying to be like Kobe. The, way he? the way he shoots and everything, yeah. He, if you look at look at him, he looks like a rookie Kobe. Hmm. But, well, I suppose uh, Kobe started only seven points a game, didn't he? Something like that. Oh. Kobe, you know, he can get that ball through the, through the net yeah. a, whole, a whole lot easier. Yeah, I mean, and... Yeah, to be honest, you know, basketball terminology, Marshawn Brooks is one of the best rainbow shots, you know, I, I've seen in a long, you know, he's got a wonderful rainbow to his shot, doesn't he? Yeah. And he, Fantastic. He, he should have been on the Wolves. There's, there's really no excuse, but I really don't want to get into that. Like, yeah, we like to bring it up every <laughs> single show, don't we? Uh, because, yeah, the trading, uh, that trading down bull. Yeah, should I say the word? No, I mean, not just once. Not it, twice, uh, but three times. Or more, more. No. Yep, too much. Yeah, like I said on the last show, if it's not a top ten pick, David Kahn trades it away every bleeping time. Yeah, every single time, except for Wayne Ellington, who is an okay player, but he's also the twenty eighth pick. You know, yeah. twenty eh. eighth pick. You're not exactly looking for, you know. Could use Festus. Could have here. He sure could have. He was a nice one. Buttinger's guy, Buttinger's good, but of course, like we were saying, um, you know, grab him off of, yeah, free agency. Yeah, you know, and that's not speculating; it's just fact. You know, yeah. it's it's fact. He could have been scooped up, I think, for uh, uh, very easily without having to worry about the salary cap. Very yeah. easily. Yeah, but now it's going to be proven because he's mm-hmm. going to get minutes. Yeah, still want more. Mm-hmm. I mean, and he he would have gotten more than you know the eight hundred k he's getting now, but still. Yeah. Still, you know, <laughs> he's not gonna. I don't think he's gonna be like seven million type of. I don't oh, think no. so. No. no, you'd have to really shoot the lights out. Yeah, it's usually the guys that get the money are the bigger, like power forward and center type guys, unless they're like superstars. But anyhow, number seven. Uh, let's see whose turn is it. I think it's yeah, it's your turn. Yeah, and hopefully yeah. that money will go to a Roy. Brandon, yes, as he continues to. Yeah. It's still some Wolves explosion now. Mm-hmm. So we can talk yes. about the Wolves. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Of course, we're just doing our prediction, but yeah, of yeah. course, yeah, we can still throw in many as much Wolves stuff as we want, right? Yeah, so who's, um, your, who's your seven? Answers. Indiana, yep, you have a much lower, huh? Yeah, it's just because I don't of, blame you. of uh, Hibbert's performance, uh, Rangers. Yep. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> but that's what they'll yeah. be as 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 good because of because of other teams are better. That's that's the only reason. Yeah. They get knocked down just because other teams are getting a lot a lot better. Yeah, it's not even an indictment, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean mm-hmm. that's how I feel also about other teams yeah, that are down the here. It's like yep. the West getting so much better is messing up the East, you know. They're not gonna be able to beat the teams that they've beaten in the West before. Mm hmm. It's so one of those things, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean that that uh it's a little that trade mm-hmm. With uh, Bynum. Oh, that, yep. And, you know, the way that, that really shook things up. It's, yeah, the Eastern Conference is a little different now. It is, and uh, I think it makes Miami and Boston that much more powerful. Yeah, yeah free agency, too. It just, yeah. Yeah, it just, yeah, changed everything. Why did they have to come to the Western Conference? Ugh. Yeah. I'm so sick of all the super-duper power forwards have to be in the West yeah. all the time. For the last 20 freaking years. Come on, I'm sick of it. Go away. I want the wolves to dominate. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, it was like, yeah, yeah, that clip. Yeah, the clip that it's a clip that play is pretty funny. But yeah, which clip? Really? The clip that I showed you. Oh, I did it again. Yeah. Oh, which which clip? <laughs> which clip? Oh, <laughs> uh, which clip? Oh, that that related to uh, <laughs> how fans felt about that trade. Oh yeah. Oh. Stupid, uh, L.A. Clippers, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's laughing. At <laughs> so we move to number Ocho, right? So yeah, this will be my call. It is going to be probably the one of the funny ones, but 
It's because of a prediction I made in the previous show when I, you know, we pick your, our yearly surprise in each conference. It was the Toronto Raptors, and I said they're going to make the playoffs. <laughs> and it might sound crazy and stupid, but and I think they're going to make it. Yeah, I think they have a talented enough roster to at least be the eighth seed in the West. And heck, why not? You know, why shouldn't the Toronto Raptors make the playoffs? You got my guy at point guard, Kyle Lowry. I've always been a huge fan of his since he was a underutilized backup in Memphis. I was like, why can't the Wolves go after him and get rid of some of these crappy backups we've had on our team? I want Kyle Lowry, dang it. And they were, he was going to come back to the Wolves in one of those, you know, O.J. Mayo, Yarich, you know, trade deals to get Kevin Love. Lowry was going to come back to the Wolves in that. God, I wish, I wish. But, of course, that didn't go that way. Kyle Lowry stayed with Memphis for a while, went out of Houston, blah, blah, blah. And this is his first full season as a Probably the best player on the Raptors outside of Bargnani. Yeah. I like the team. Um, I like DeMar DeMar DeRozan enough. I think he'll be improved. Calderon is still there. Jose Calderon, veteran presence. DeMar DeRozan did average almost 17 points a game last year, so he's he's, he's getting better and better, I think. I like him. Jamal Magliar, what a joke. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so, yeah what, I looks at that. What, like, oh, man. what is he doing there? Like, what a waste. Like, don't waste our time with that guy. <laughs> Alin Anderson. No, that's some random guy. That's a training camp guy. Just got curious there. Uh, Landry Fields is a decent player as well. He, he's okay. Amir Johnson has been okay for a while. But I think the roster is good enough for an eighth seed, especially with Kyle Lowry there. I mean, I, I really think it's going to... Things are going to head in the right direction for Toronto. Well, I think Lowry being there is kind of messing up uh, Jose. That's the one thing, yeah. Yeah. And they're kind of taking Jose out because he's, he's, he's a very good player. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did every nine assists, yeah. yeah. He's got a great ratio, doesn't he? Yeah. Turnover assists, yep. That's the one thing. If Can they match them together? Yeah, I mean, but I mean, granted, this is the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference, so yeah, it's... Yeah, then you have to take out... I mean, you can't... Don't play uh, Jose at shooting guard. You have to take them no. out. Yeah, I mean, you... I'll yeah. Small forward. Or... Yeah, it's going to be a little kerfuffle, a little bit. I, I'm surprised they didn't make a trade with... Uh, I'm surprised they didn't trade Calderon to somebody. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I actually... Yeah, why... I'm su- <laughs> excuse me. It's surprised they're like one of those teams out there that could use a, a point guard. There's about a billion of those, you know. Yeah. Wolves were included in that category until we got Rubio. But that's the one thing. I mean, and granted, I'm picking them to be eighth seed, not like third or something. So, eh, you know, I, I think the roster is good enough to to sneak into the postseason. And noticeably, I left somebody very significant out. It sounds like you might be as well. But uh, yeah. So who's your eight for the uh, Raptors or, or for team? the for the East? Yeah. So who who's your eight? Because I I'm gonna mention that team in a second as soon as I hear your eighth. Philly. Oh, so you did pick him. Okay. Yeah, Philly. <laughs> you notice that's the team I left out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think, go ahead. I think, yeah. I think they might sneak in <coughs> with uh, Bynum it, it, mm-hmm. again if he's injured. Yeah. Then uh yeah then I mess up on that one because then, oh, then okay. I, it would have been the Raptors. Yeah, I mean it's a and, and it's a you know the, again it's a eighth seed so it's not like it's you know yeah. it's not going to bury us make us look stupid like if we're third seed you know but yeah it's all depending on Bynum mm-hmm. yeah it, it is all Bynum because to me Bynum well he showed into camp out of shape yeah yeah he told me that's, yeah. that's unbelievable that is unbelievable you you're going to a new team like that love oh, you don't want to show up out of shape you know yeah. Or, uh, I don't know, like, uh, would you say he was out of shape or, or just not as not as good as last year? Because that's a million-dollar question with Love right now. Yeah, Love is... Maybe not as... No, go ahead. It looked it, it look like... Well, before, it looked like he gained some muscle and lost weight. Yeah. Now, yeah, sure, yep. it's, it's, it's like he lost muscle and gained weight. Mm, I hope not. So, it's kind of look kind of... I want to say kind of flabby-ish. <laughs> I love this guy. It looked like uh, the, he had some bat wings there. Oh, that's under, under the arms. This guy's oozing negativity, aren't you? That's a little jiggle. That's a little jiggle there. When he was... <laughs> I was like, oh, man, come on, love. I hope it's not true. Say it ain't so, Joe. Yeah, say but if you got a guy so. like picking your team, you, you got you to be in shape. 
Yeah, Pekovic. You know that's you know the strength conditioning trainer should be for the Wolves or strength and conditioning coach Pekovic. Yeah, <laughs> he's the strength and conditioning coach, and he's the starting center. There you go. He's got yeah, the multi. I mean, he's got the multi. He's multifaceted. Get over here. You're going to lift this up, or I'm going to break your skull. Okay, sorry. Yeah, Pekovic is going to be huge. That guy is the. We're big Pekovic fans, and we're not yeah. being sarcastic with Darko. We love to be sarcastic because it's fun. I mean, Darko gives us more material than, uh, you know, yeah, I so just bad. pickles, you know. Because, uh-huh. it's so, because it's so bad, you know. Darko is such a joke, you know, all-time joke. You know, the biggest joke of all time, too, is, oh, boy, look at us getting into this again. It's my <laughs> own It's my own fault. ISOs for Darko bleep and Milicic. It shows you just how terrible, you know, and we've mentioned this a thousand really times before. Funny. But we've mentioned this a thousand times before, but it's like we can't emphasize, we can't emphasize it much how retarded Kurt Rambis was. <laughs> yeah, that was ridiculous. Kurt Rambis is retarded. Like, really? I was like, okay, we're going to, you know, Darko has the ball. Okay, we're going to tie so again. Okay. This is like the 300th best offensive option in the NBA, and you're ISOing for him. What? Why don't you ISO for me, too? I, I should just <laughs> sign up right now to that team. Yeah. Give me an ISO. I might hit the mid-range shot. I know I could do that. Yeah, pick you, pick you out of the crowd. <laughs> oh, I'll take a uh, you, you, sure. you, you. Take that purple. Take that Timberwolves explosion guy in there. Yeah, you come down the stairs like his price is right. You know, throwing a jersey. And then they put Andre Kirilenko on me. It's like, okay, here's the ball. I bleep it. <laughs> I'm just gonna hand it to you. You know, that's what I do at that point. Like, no. Uh, yeah, I'm a small forward at the uh, at the health club or whatever level, not at the NBA <laughs> level. <laughs> oh, the NBA level, I'm trying to be Luke Ridenour, trying with uh, everything I've got. <laughs> oh, so yeah, who? Oh, your eighth seed was Philly. Yeah, I left them out because of because of Bynum. He he came in out of shape, and yeah. I'm not saying Philly's not good, but yeah, you also earlier mentioned uh, off air about the Igudala deal. Yeah, he's obviously not there anymore, and that's a that's a significant loss. Yeah. Uh, Elden Brand is not much of a loss necessarily, and salary wise, he's definitely not a loss. But I don't know. I like Doug Collins. I always, you know, he's he's a decent coach. But yeah, some of these names you look at, like <laughs> Kwame Brown, Damian Wilkins, that's not attractive at all. <laughs> Evan Turner picked it up a little bit. Me, my my favorite seventy sixer, if I, you know, was by a hundred times over is Drew Holiday. Yeah. I love Drew Holiday. But with that said, it's just right now I don't like the uh I don't like the the way things are starting out with Andrew Bynum and the Sixers. You you came into camp out of shape. Are you serious, man? Really? You know, clearly he doesn't get it. You know, you're that talented but you come into camp out of shape to your new team with a chance to make some type of run. Yeah, it's like come you, on, you man. know, you want to take a uh, Drew over uh, Jose, then uh, oh, yeah. Turner over Demar. Mm-hmm. Yep, Toronto. Yep. You know, I take Bynum over Gray. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. That's, you know. <laughs> that's a thing. Yeah. You take the Barnes names. over uh, Hawes. Oh, oh you're killing me, aren't you? No. Yeah. Bar- oh, they got Jason Richardson too. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. That was part of that. About that. Yeah. Yeah. That was the another Dwight to Orlando nonsense going on. The only team that, yeah, it's funny, the only team that didn't get anything back really in that trade was the Orlando Magic, who gave yeah. up the most. Yeah, that, Don't you love that? that? Thank you for that. Yeah, idiots. Completely messed up our plans. <laughs> yeah, what's what's the name of that YouTube video? It's just, to, just to throw it out there. It's uh, Christian Bale. I forgot what it is. Christian Bale gets angry or something? Yeah. It's yeah, basically cool. how Wolves fans feel about the Lakers. Yeah, so if, if you ever have an idea, Christian, like, how do you spell Bale again? It's a different, is it B-A-L-E? Oh, don't, oh, don't type it in yet. No, I, I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I mean, there's a funny, well, it's a video from a movie. Yeah. And, yeah, it's a perfect way to describe how Wolves fans felt when the Lakers got uh, Dwight Howard and the, the way the magic went about allowing it to happen, like, like here, just take him. It's kind of bull crap. So yeah, there's your. Uh, wait, we better move on to the west. We're taking yeah. too long. That's be fast. <laughs> We're taking That's way weird. too long, but it will be fast. We'll try to yeah. keep it brief. We'll try to keep it brief. Real quick. Uh, no, no, I'll mention that some other time. Okay. Um, Western Conference. I'll start. L.A. Lakers. Yeah, agreed. 
Is, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. Best best team on paper. Blah blah blah. You know, something we got into last show. Yeah. Not much to add, really. You know, it's no. just right now I think they're going to the top record. So who's your second? Uh, Oklahoma. Same here, Oklahoma. We're right in the coattails there. Uh yeah, I'm really they they should have uh, uh, gotten a better center. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, they didn't do anything with yeah, that. Because Dwight's going to score for you for um, Lakers, but Perkins, you know, he's not going to score. Mm-mm. No, he's he's Darko like offensively, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, he will not score. And that's just the way it's going to be forever and ever with that. Yeah, and they won't be able to play Collison. He, Collison could score, but he's not going to stop Dwight. So they'll have Mm-mm. to play Perkins. Mm-mm. Collison, yeah, he's okay, but he's not. Yeah, he's just a backup player, yeah. really. I do wish what Perry Jones has, has to, uh, has to oh, offer. Oh, that's right. That was that addition, and your cousin Max is acting like they got. You know, every time the Thunder <laughs> drafts somebody, he, he acts like they got. Paul Pierce or yeah. Shaq. It's like, dude, calm down. Come on. Now, this guy, he's going to be an all-star. Okay, sorry. I can't. <laughs> it's like, you don't know that. Come on. Slow down. He, you know? he loves the thunder. Yeah, he really, he likes the thunder so much that I hate the thunder. That's the, <laughs> that's the problem. Oh, boy. I mean, who who knows? They're, they're smart. They run very well, but... What a, you know, it's one of those deals. So we can better move right on. Yeah. Ready to move along to three. Yeah. Uh, let's see, you had Oklahoma. Oh, yeah, for number three, Denver Nuggets. Yep. It's crazy how we keep doing that. And we, again, we'll continue to promise Thanks to you. Orlando. Thanks to Orlando. Yeah, because mm-hmm. with the addition of uh, Iguodala. Iguodala. Yeah. yeah, that really. That good move. You know, and they, they gave up. Who did they give up again? Uh, why am I blanking? <laughs> Gave up Kobe. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> How are you making I know me who laugh? He is. I know who he is. Yeah, it's like we know who it is. And they're blanking. He's a shooting guard, really solid on uh, defense. Uh, oh, a follow. Excuse yeah. me. What am I thinking? Yeah. yeah, it was a follow. It's just funny because of how little Orlando got back. That was the one yeah. good player. It was a follow, <laughs> but a follow is good. But Iguodell is a little better. You know, he's not spectacular, <laughs> but he's not as he's not as good of a shooter as a follow. But overall, I think he's better. Yeah. He's a good fit. He's not a perfect fit necessarily for Denver because they already have Danilos. But oh, I think he's a very good fit because their their speed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. Ty Lawson with Iguodala is a pretty good backcourt, yeah. and you uh, still put Danilo to four, three, excuse me, and then four. Well, four is not quite as great over there. Oh, excuse me, Kenneth Farid is really good actually. Yeah. And then the center, we yeah, that's the crazy guy who's pretty good. The longer longer than a train that's <laughs> yeah. developed. That guy is long as heck. Got the veteran backup point guard, Andre M- Yeah, that's definitely a strong third seed. Yeah. Really strong team. Chandler, Wilson Chandler, it can play. Corey Brewer, he can play. I can't believe I'm saying that, but yes he can. <laughs> and Anthony they got Randolph. And they got Anthony Randolph. They did. Congratulations and Kels Jakufos, yes. Here's your Timberwolves angle right there. A couple of guys that barely played. Instead of Andre but, Miller. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, that was yep. Yeah, that was one I mentioned. It's a good, that's a strong, very strong basketball team. They're gonna they're gonna make noise in the in the West this year. So moving on to number four, who's this is where it'll probably get interesting. Where we'll start having different opinions. Yeah. Um, San Antonio. Oh, look at it. yep. It is San the same. <laughs> yep. Shoot. Yeah, this is pretty much yeah. At least, at least it's, it's, it's random. Yeah, the West it's kind of like drawn out for us already. Yeah, Denver's going to be better than San Antonio. I think they're younger. They're, they're just they're just going to be better than the, the Spurs. When is when is Father Time going to catch up to them? Yeah, and they didn't really have that many pieces. And they no, they didn't really do much. No, they're getting and and they they keep talking about trading away. Uh, what's his face, Dewan Wagner? So. I, I kind of, I kind of like him, but De- I'm talking weird here. But uh, they're a good team. Dewan Blair. I don't know why I call him Wagner. I'm got something <laughs> in my head. Dewan Blair. They no, did. Dewan Wagner. Yeah, they did. I apologize, listeners. I'm getting crazy here. Oh, they added Eddie Curry though. There it is. Eddie Curry. Like, why does he continue to wind up in teams' rosters and not play they a single game? Team. I mean, I, I do not. The Spurs. Yeah. yeah. That's not that's not a Spurs type of move. 
Is it? No, it's not. I mean, <laughs> usually they, every guy they get is really smart. Yeah, and healthy. Well, maybe not healthy, but tired. yeah, they're healthy. Yeah, but what? what this, you know, this. Mystery of the Universe. There is the urban legend of all time. Why in the hell does Eddie Curry continue to wind up on teams, yeah. salary, payroll, and not play one game? Yeah, I, I, I do not want to see him getting a ring. What are they doing? What are they doing? And but I mean, I'm. I think we can rest assured. Yeah, the, this is a very bold. Or watch this come back to bite me. Watch San Antonio win like win like sixty five games and like win a title this year somehow. <laughs> but I, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to try to say this with, you know, feeling assured saying this. So he 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 won't get a ring in San Antonio. But yeah, he's not. I don't think so. They did get Curry Joseph though, so Tony Parker's on his way out. Okay, just kidding. I don't want him being in the playoffs. <laughs> Eddie Curry. Eddie, yeah. He got a ring at Miami. That SOB. He, and he played so much with Miami last year that he <laughs> didn't play. He he darkoed it. Why is this guy still, Why? Oh, yeah, he did play 14 games last year, so... He I'm, did? Su- I'm surprised he did, yeah. I'm shocked, actually. I'm shocked. Anyhow, I'll calm down. <sighs> Yeah, the Spurs. I mean, yeah, they got to. There's no way they're going to be a top seed again. I, I got to think that's gonna. Yeah. That's got to change sooner or later. I mean, our, uh, sooner or later they have to go down, don't they? They, yeah. can, they can't stay good forever, can they? I, they just can't. Sooner or later, Tim Duncan's going to be like, "Whoa, what the hell? He shot three of twelve, you know, today." Yeah, it's got to happen sooner or later. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it's going to happen, you know, this season. Yeah, he's got damaged knees for like, I don't know, seven years now. You know, it seemed like every other time he's, like, his knees are bugging him. Ginobili's 35, Tim Duncan's 36, yeah. Parker's 30, Stephen Jackson's 34, blah, blah, blah. You know, we keep going. Yeah, the shooting Fina, Matt Bonner, is also 32. Holy cow. Yeah, anyhow. Number five. Uh, yeah, you, you had the last pick, so I have Memphis Grizzlies at five. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I have the Memphis Grizzlies at five. Very, you know, talented roster. They did lose O.J. Mayo, but uh, he wasn't exactly, hmm. in, uh, in, you know, he wasn't exactly a big part of uh, that team. You're like, oh, I should have taken them, aren't you? <laughs> it's a, they're they're talented. I, if I was Memphis, I would have kept. Um, <laughs> you, you know, you know, this is coming. I would have kept uh, Kyle Lowry and not. Um, Mike Conley, honestly, I wouldn't have. Well, they have Flip Murray. There's another guy that keeps flying around the league. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. funny, man. Rudy Gay's back and healthy. Marcus Sol. Wayne Ellington's a giant addition, man. No, not really. He, he he might be, though. Maybe he's a better fit for that team, meaning a little bit of punch off the bench, shooting-wise. They've always been a dangerous team. Tony Allen's extremely valuable. Holy cow, is he available? A valuable player to that team. They added Jared Bayless, interestingly. See how that turns out. Uh, for me, why, why would... Oh, and Zach Randolph, of course. Huge. And Mark Murray Spates is very valuable. Uh, for me, why not? Why shouldn't Memphis be the fifth seed? I think. Honestly. Good defense. They have some... You know, they had some shooting punch as well to the to the roster a little bit. You look mm-hmm. like you're deep in thought. You're like, huh. Mm. That's for some reason, I just don't see them uh, putting it together. I don't know. I, I hope know. not. I hope not, honestly, because they're such a horrible matchup for the Wolves every time we play them. Yeah. I mean, they kill us every time, and it's ridiculous. So, yes. I don't think that, that's changed. That's I changed. hope it does. So who, who's number five for the forecaster? The Clippers. Oh, look at you. You have them a little higher than I thought. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I mean, I think they're better than uh, Memphis. Like they have, you know, the bench. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me get to that. The Clippers. I mean, the yeah, they do have a very deep team. There's no doubt that the Clippers have a deep franchise right now. It's yeah, they're yeah, they're, they're very deep. I mean, if uh, franchise, well, you know, Chauncey and. Uh, Mm-hmm. Achilles tendon, though. But, I mean, he's back, though, yeah. at least. That's the good part. Grant Hill's only 40. No. <laughs> you know, that's, that's a young 40. 
Uh, Jamal Crawford. <coughs> Ryan Hollins. Ryan Hollins. Oh, with the yeah. addition of uh, Odom. They are ridiculously deep. Had part yeah. of, you know. You know, that Bledsoe. Okay. That's the guy I've been kind of mean about. Yeah. Ron <laughs> Butler. I mean, he's not Rudy. But, mm-hmm. you know. They are ridiculously deep, but can they put it together? I, I maybe. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I think they have better pieces than uh, than uh, than your Memphis. <laughs> On paper, definitely. Yeah, like, I don't think there's any doubt. Yeah. Give up Barnes. Barnes. I mean, I like Tony Allen more than him, but uh, you know. It's, it, it, it just depends on the... I, I think the Memphis' coach is better than Clippers. I think that's a huge yeah, part. Yeah. Um, the defense is better in Memphis also. That's what I like as well. The Marcus Stoles and Tony Allens and such. Interesting discussion, though. I mean, you could kind of flip-flop these teams. This is where it gets kind of Eastern Conference-like, where you can flip-flop yeah, people. But we're at the, uh, yeah. On paper, though, yeah. I mean, I could understand your argument, though, that their roster is way sexier than Memphis's. Yeah. Memphis is a bunch of like lunch pail guys. LA is a bunch of guys wearing golden, you know, gold cufflinks. Yeah, I, I you know? think Memphis is like San Antonio. <laughs> I think it's more of the chemistry. Yeah. Going on there. Yeah, chemistry and lunch pails. Yeah. Yep, that's the lunch pail team, just like the Lakers and the Clippers are got the gold cufflinks. Mm. They sip in the red wine and all that good stuff. You know, they're the they're the rich guys. Uh, I think. Um, what, what's your uh, six? Do you want me to go first, or should yeah, I? Uh, it sounds first. like you I want me to. Uh, I have Minnesota. Yes, sir. You're like, yeah. Oh, are you I nodding? Agree. Are you nodding? I agree. Oh, let's let's give him a big hand. Yes. Minnesota. It's not homerism. It's not homerism, folks. It's a good roster. Yeah. I think we talk about the Timberwolves a little bit on this show, don't we? You know, you got Andre Karolinko, you got Brandon Roy, you know. You know, it's all about, can Roy's knees be held? Okay, yeah, yeah, we discuss them a lot, yeah, don't we? Yeah, So um, the reasons why we rank them number six are the reasons that we were talking about earlier. And the other show, and the other show, and the other show. <laughs> it's a, it's an improved roster. You got Karolinko, Roy. Roy looks good. Yeah. Pekovic looks damn good. Better Pekovic. Pekovic looks damn good. Yeah. Um, nice backup center, I think, if he can stay healthy in... Steamer, Greg Steamsa, Steams Ma, excuse me, um, Steamboat, whatever they call him, <laughs> Ricky freaking Rubio, if he can, yeah, he's, he's a stud. Oh, and we didn't even talk about Derek Williams. Yeah. Shame on him. So now's the time to talk about him. Yeah. Now's the time to talk. He looks awesome, doesn't he? Compared to last year, anyway, he oh, looks yeah. awesome. We didn't even talk about him. So yeah, I guess figure this is. <laughs> yeah, we're not. We're not as. I don't, we're not gonna be as turnover prone. Yeah, that's a good sign. Unless, unless J.J. Beret is the starting point guard, then maybe we yeah. might. Or it would just be bad shots. <laughs> Lots of rebounds given up because of uh, J.J.'s inability to keep himself under control. You know, and, and yeah. Yeah, that's, but we're, we're definitely a better team. I agree. I strongly agree. Way better, way better team. There's no doubt about it. Oh, my goodness, they're good. Uh, T-Wolf Cast is another Timberwolves podcast also. Give you guys a shout out, yes sir. T Wolf Cast, T Wolf Cast. But don't forget about us, though. If you like T Wolf Cast, don't forget about Timberwolves Explosion. <laughs> and yeah, if you like Timberwolves Explosion, or don't forget about T Wolf Cast. There you go. There's a little team, uh, little 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 team team attitude there, right? Isn't that nice of me? Yes. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget about either one. You know, do it. You get your fill with Timberwolves basketball by listening to both. Right? There you go. Yes, sir. Give those guys a, a shot. Give those guys a, a listen. Don't li- don't leave either show and uh, hang and keep listening to both. Anyhow, I made my point way too rehashed there. Uh, uh, I, I, would, I would rather have uh, have us at the uh, seventh seed. Would you now? Oh, because it's just massive sh- reasons. According to your early, oh, because of Denver. Yeah, that, yeah. And every time we play Denver, I'm cussing up a storm because yeah. we're doing well, but then we blow it. Yeah. Every every time we go to that stupid arena in Denver, yeah. I want to break the television. And, and I, I want to break I, I something else, seeing, too. Uh, oh, every time. Yeah, I just hate seeing uh, Lawson play well. Every flipping time. Uh, I'm going to cuss my head off right now. Yeah, I don't want to see Corey smile as they beat us. There's too many Wolves implications in that team, aren't there? And Randolph. 
<laughs> I just uh, I don't want to see that. They lost him as part ours, but of course it was one of those pre-arranged, you know, pre-draft deals. Yeah. Like, I mean, if Taylor is there, we'll take him and trade him to you. Yeah, I mean, the fact that it just passed through our hands, we handed, you know. It was a handoff. Hands. Yeah. It was like Christian Ponder heading the ball off to Adrian Peterson, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Unfortunately, Adrian got an 80 yard touchdown on that one. But. Freaking uh, Ty Lawson, yeah. Honestly, an uh, OKC and a uh, Wolves uh, series would be nice to watch. That would be fun. That'd be f- yeah, every time we played OKC, it was unbelievable. I mean, it was unbelievable basketball. Yeah. It was like the best game of the entire season. Yeah. You could argue. And regular season. They pretty yeah. much, you know, stayed the same team. Yeah, think about it. We went to, it was, it was double overtime, but it felt like quadruple overtime. Yeah. Without Rubio. I might add, without Rubio in OKC. Without Rubio. Not, you know, it's not like Rubio was at his prime at that time. Yeah. Like, you know, it was, he was not even playing. That's how good we were in that game. Wow. I mean, Kevin Love shot the ball like a king. That would be a fun matchup. Yeah. Wouldn't it, though? So who's your number, Siete? Number seven. Dallas. <gasps> there he is. was Dallas. Still, yeah, actually, you think it's actually, still it was between it? Dallas and Memphis, but uh, oh, you gotta have a you gotta have a concrete pick. It's a that's yeah. a that's a that, that's a radio thing. There's no gray. Yeah, it was, There's no gray area. Look again, at this, you. This is this is. You got that Elton Brand factor. You know, that, yeah, I do like that brand. You got the Vince <laughs> car. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's going to be some teams noticeably missing, yes. You know, we got, uh, yeah, Chris came in. It, he that's came a in? lot of... No, okay, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> there's a lot of new guys on that team that... I, I think I think it might come together. I think they're, they're going to surprise some people. Uh, Dirk, uh, he's like... For him, it's like, is, is he still hungry? Yeah. I mean, I, he seems to, like, ne- he seems to always have the right attitude, doesn't he? Yeah. I think. I mean, he doesn't seem like the guy that you're like, oh boy, I don't know. Darren Collison, that's the big question. Huh? Is he going to blow up there, or is he going to yeah. be like, he's, he just, he just, what the heck happened in Indiana with Darren Collison? Like, he was a backup over there. He was backing up George Hill in Indiana. That's how, like, bad it got. Yeah. I didn't it's understand crap. that. crap. Yeah. But for some reason, I, like Memphis, I don't know. It just seems like they're not going to... Hmm. I'm surprised because you were like in love with them a year ago. Like you wanted to marry? Yeah, no, uh, not marry. Well, but. for me, what it is, the the wrench was tossed in. The wrench is uh, uh, Rudy Gay. Yeah. I, I Seems like he makes him worse. Yeah. Doesn't he? Yeah. D- it sounds it's, like that's the only reason. <laughs> yes, the only reason is, is Rudy Gay. I think he just messes the team up. He's like Chris Webber syndrome. Do you remember Sacramento when you know when they were at their best? Obviously, the Rick Adelman team. Sacramento, Chris Webber got hurt, and they played like like kings, like literally. They played unbelievably well. Remember that? Yeah. It's like, wait, Webber's not even, this was about eight to ten years ago. Webber's not playing, and Sacramento's got like the number two seed in the West. So like, and that was, the West was really good then, too. It's like, wow, that's crazy. Like, guys like Stojakovic blew up. So, yeah, maybe they have Sac- uh, Sacramento King syndrome, like Chris Webber syndrome yeah. over there. Uh, in I think, Memphis. yeah, they should have trade, try to, at least try to trade uh, Rudy. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, I mean, the signs were there as soon as he came back. Yeah, yeah. And instead, they let OJ Mayo go via yeah. free agency to these Dallas Mavericks. Yeah, I, th- I think that was uh, the mistake there with uh, OJ. Could be, or or both of them. They he is a character was, issue, though. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. is Rudy, I think. Yeah, they just should have uh, gotten something for both of them. They could have. And they got absolutely diddly for OJ. They just let him go. Like, yeah. adios, happy trails to you. Uh. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. You know, they gave up Kevin... Yeah, see, in hindsight, they gave up Kevin Love for nothing. That's true. Think about that. That's, yeah. that's a, That trade is now officially legendary. Even though, you know, you might... Uh, you know, we might bitch and moan about Love on occasion because he bitches and moans a lot. But that was a legendary trade. Yeah. Like, we freed cap space and got Kevin Love. I mean, the cap space was so bleeped up here with the same guy that's on the Bulls training cap roster right now. Had about three years left on his deal. He went to Memphis in that trade. Yeah. Just imagine if we got Lowry, too. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> of course, we might maybe not have taken Rubio, but, man, Lowry, too. Holy cow, man. 
You want O.J. Mayo, who's going to be the next Kobe Bryant? You better give us Lowry. Yep. Sorry. Dallas, huh? Yep. How dare you? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think losing Jason Kidd could be a plus. He's he's just so old. I mean, does it yeah. say, yeah, he's so I mean, old. He looked pretty, pretty, he's, he's a starter. Not Even now? Far. Yeah. Even now with the Knicks? Yeah. They look wow. pretty good out there. Wow. I, I guess so. How could you say this? No. <laughs> Number eight, number eight. See, you went first with seven. Oh, wait, I didn't pick my seventh. I'm stupid. Yeah. Clippers. I have the Clippers at seven, so a little bit lower than, than you, but it's, you know, it's a crapshoot type of thing. Uh, like, it was the reasons why I was saying earlier. Clippers have a nice roster, but I, I don't know how well it's going to mesh. Yeah. It just kind of reeks at one of those teams that's going to annoy you, you know, or, you know, they're going to annoy their fan base, I should say. If you're a fan of the Clippers, they're going to annoy you, like, they're good, but dang it, they can't beat San Antonio. They can't beat the Lakers. They can't beat the Wolves. Yeah, no, they can't. No, yeah, <laughs> they, yeah. <laughs> they did beat Memphis with like the greatest comeback ever. I remember that, which yeah. is hilarious. That's probably what changed your view on Memphis Clippers. Yeah, probably is. That was legendary. That was like a thirty-point comeback, twenty-eight if to be official. <laughs> that would have been the end of uh, old uh, Vinny Del Negro. I think if they lost that series, he would have been. Yeah, he would have been looking for an uh, assistant job in the NBA, not a head coaching job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, that's where I have the Clippers. I have them as a seventh. I think they're going to they're gonna be good enough to be a playoff team. I'm not going to like go as far as to say, uh-uh, they're not making it. But, um, eh, they're not going to get it past the first round, though, in the postseason. Nope. Uh, I have a feeling that we're, we're both agreeing on the eighth seed. On the eighth seed? All right, so I guess I go first out for our little snake deal. You know, the little, what do they call it, serpentine mm. draft, whatever. Golden State Warriors. Yep. Yeah. I agree. Pumpa. Hi, Pumpa. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, you're talking about the Lakers, too. That's V-Train's team. Yes, V-Train. Pumpa, V-Train. That basketball show, one of the most entertaining shows out there. I mean, honest to God, two of the coolest dudes <laughs> in the world, man. <laughs> I love that show. Do you like it? Do you like it, Marcus? I do. Thanks for the uh, shout out. Yeah, thank you very much. Too. Yes, thank you very much for the continuing shout outs on uh, on your show and on your on Twitter. Uh, we're gonna always give you a shout out as well because it's good stuff. And heck, they even invited me on their show at some point. Maybe would you like to come too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, let's look at on air booking. Yeah, I mean, they. I think they'd like us on their show at some time. That'd be an awesome deal, wouldn't it? We just gotta work our schedules together because. Uh, international uh, time and all that stuff, yeah. but hopefully this night stuff, night here stuff works for them, but anyhow, I'm going off topic. <laughs> Warriors, yeah. Pumpa's Warriors are oh. going to make the playoffs. So instead, you know, in Pumpa's case, he said the Wolves are not going to make it, and the Warriors are going to make it, so <coughs> we're being nicer. We have both of our teams making it. Yeah. We're, we're a little more generous. <laughs> <laughs> and V-Train, we gave you your team number one seed, not only in the Western Conference, but probably in the league. Unfortunately, <laughs> V Trains Lakers are going to have that number one seed. Yes, sir. Yeah, too bad their uh, Golden State's going to be knocked out. Swept. Uh, you know, yeah, I get to see the basketball show. Number one seed, number eight seed. They're going to be cock and trash to each other, aren't they? <laughs> like, punk, like, trying your team's going to lose. No, we're going to beat you. No, I can just imagine. That's going to be fun to listen to. I can see it one and eight. Mm. The basketball show will take place in the first round, yes. But honestly, I, the playoff I, show. Yeah, I wouldn't even want uh, Bogut going anywhere near Dwight. Because <laughs> he's injury. so damn injury prone. Yeah. Oh, he's good, but it's like, stay, no way. stay healthy. And and Bogut's also Australian, by the way, which is funny. Yeah. You know, they're all Australian. <laughs> he's good, but man, if he could stay healthy. If he could stay healthy, that would be really good. But it's like, oh, that figures. I... Uh, Mm-hmm. Yeah, speaking of injuries, fractured ankle for uh, Bogut. Yeah, it continues. Wow. This guy is... I a, had no idea. Anyhow. Yeah. Recently. Yeah, I mean, and we checked the... A fracture? Is that like... <laughs> <it> just, uh, <laughs> we checked the... Spring? And if this is incorrect, we apologize. This is the information right in front of us. So yeah. if it's incorrect, then Yahoo owes us an apology for this, but... We, yeah, we check stuff pretty much every day, I guess, yeah, okay. But I guess, I mean, we're mostly wolves, but we look all over the league as well, which is why we talk about it a lot. 
Okay, uh, Bo- Bogut being healthy, yeah. Anyhow, I still think the Warriors make the playoffs. I mean, because eighth seed is doable. Yeah. I don't have faith in Houston. I don't have Dallas in the postseason, if you noticed. Yeah. I don't have him in there. No, I have Dallas in it. And uh, Philadelphia being left out right now because of, you know, the certain reasons. Like, I don't think they mesh. That's, that's basically what it is. Uh-huh. I can't believe <laughs> Poor Bogut. That guy is just... When he's healthy, he could he's an awesome center, but he's never healthy. Con, he's confident in the health and Warriors. <laughs> Four days before the injury, there's an article about Bogut being confident in his health and the Warriors' prospects. Yeah, like the Warriors' chances of being in the playoffs and all that. Fractured. I can't believe this. Things have to change in Golden State. Oh, my God. Well, uh, the Bucks got a deal in that trade. This. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Bogut with the fracture left ankle. Mm-hmm. It never ends, does it? It's an injury note. Yes, it is. And again, we apologize. If somehow this is incorrect, we apologize, but it's the yeah. information put right in front of us. But anyhow, we're not trying to break news here or anything. Good team. Um, unfortunately, Bogut can't stay healthy, but they do still have hindrance. Yes. Not the best center in the world, but not the worst, I guess. Mm-hmm. Andres Beadrins, who's been there for a long time. Uh, I, I, I like uh, Harrison Barnes. I like Harrison, too, yes. Boy, Beadrins never sucked last year, but <laughs> <laughs> holy cow, he like it's really bad. His, uh, haircut. It is something like that, isn't it? <laughs> but the one thing is, yeah, the good news is your guy right here. Bogut may be out, but oh, yeah. Festus, that's a guy you love a lot, don't you? Out of Nigeria, he's a good shot blocker. I like Festus. Uh, I wish we would have picked him. 30th. Pick. Yeah, that's another late round pick that we didn't get. Yeah. Like 9,000 others, which we've mentioned way too many times over the last four or five years now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's the history of the Wolves. Uh, deep enough team to make the postseason, no doubt. Carl, Carl, Carl Landry, David Lee, of course, still there. Not not our favorite player ever, but yeah. he's good. Brandon Rush. Brandon Rush is good. Not great, but good. You got uh, Clay Thompson is very good. Yeah. You know, we talked about a, a lot of those guys in the last show, but yeah, they're going to make the postseason. Yeah, it's kind of funny. We got a lot of similar. Richard picks. Jefferson. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I hate him. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Do you like Richard Jefferson? <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he went to San Antonio and just like took up a roster spot. That's about it. Yeah. And a salary and whatever he makes a lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> like nine million a year. Ouch. He helped the Nets when he was there. He was great with New Jersey uh, for a while. Eventually that wore out, and that's it. And Draymond Green's a guy that you like a lot. I like, too. He's off to a, you know, he's got a chance to be something in this league, I think. Golden State Pumpa is making the postseason. Stephen Curry's another guy who can't seem to stay healthy, but he's got, like, an- chronic ankle problems, kind of like yeah. Roy had, 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 hopefully had, past tense, chronic no, knee bogus. problems. And Bogut's got a... A fracture. A fractured ankle. That's not a good sign. Oh, boy. Sorry to hear that. Um, Anyhow. Another massive show tonight. (laughs) Another massive show tonight because so much to talk to with the postseason and such. Uh, It's almost like another season preview in a way, but... But it's we're mostly continuing stuff as we go. We figured we would add in who's making the playoffs as to where. So it's kind of like a season preview part two. But it's also continuing Wolves. We actually got to see Roy and Kirilenko play. That was fun. Finally, yeah. We finally got to see it. That was the most fun part, really, of, of all. Looking forward to these preseason games. That's, uh, yep, we're going to wrap things up here. It's, uh, it's nice to think about the Wolves making the sixth seed, though, isn't it? Yeah, I think we can. I, I, I think it's, yeah, I think it's going to happen. I, I really do. And this is a strong... Western Conference, this isn't like 37 wins is going to get yeah. you six seeds, you know, like in the East. Or, you know, it's going to it's gonna be fun. And hopefully we'll uh, meet uh, Oklahoma. <laughs> Just for entertainment factor. Yeah. Even if we, no, I hope we win. That'd be and crazy. We, we wouldn't get swept. Uh, no, we're, that, the matchup was too good to be swept. Unless it was like one of those just ridiculous series where every game is like a one or two point game and the yeah. same team wins all of them. That is Really depressing. Because we'll yeah. finally have a defender who can stop, well, I shouldn't say stop, slow down can, Durant. Yeah, at least be a pain in the butt, you know. And that's the perfect, yeah, small forward. 
small forward, a very tall small forward yeah. in Andre Kira Linko, yeah. who does look like a deer out there, like he yeah. said. Not a deer in the headlights, a deer. He looks like a buck without being no. Well, okay, I'm going all over the place. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, this was. Yeah, yeah, we hope the show isn't too long for you. It's just, but I mean, hey, when we talk about basketball, we enjoy it. Um, yeah, it's one of those deals, you know, it's just one of those deals. If uh, you can always, like, pause it and listen back from where you left off if it's too long. <laughs> it's just that that's how it goes sometimes. But it's that early season stuff. I'm actually surprised it went this long, but that's it's okay, right? Yeah. You don't mind, do you? Well, no, I don't mind. And I hope the listeners don't mind too much. They shouldn't mind. The, it's yeah, it's they, good listening. They, they spoke, the, the listeners resounded, uh, responded resoundingly last show, so let's hope it continues. But then hope the Wolves continue to improve. Uh, we'll get deeper into the Wolves and less general NBA talk as we move forward here. Uh, but I hope you enjoy it. It makes it fun, too. Yeah. We can talk about anybody in the league if you want. <sighs> so, yes, please do join that. Oh, that wasn't a yawn. It's a sigh. <laughs> I think so. Sleeping over here. What do you know? <laughs> I'm just sighing. No, but uh, it's uh, one of those deals where um, we'd like you to join the Facebook page. Remember, go to the search bar, type that in, Minnesota Timberwolves, Timberwolves Explosion, and Twitter.com forward slash Wolves Explosion, because Timberwolves Explosion doesn't fit, or at Wolves Explosion for the same reason. It just doesn't fit for whatever reason. And at NBA Forecaster for Marcus the Forecaster's Twitter as well. Do give both of those a follow. The Wolves Explosion is mine. NBA Forecaster is Marcus the Forecaster's uh, Twitter. Do give us a follow. Yeah. We like to tweet as much as we can. Forecaster needs to get on there a little bit more, but I'll he's, do. he's getting there. He's getting there. He's making his adjustments. <laughs> so, yes, again, thank you for listening. Thank you again for the resounding listenership recently. Don't forget to get on the sportsstuff.com. Do check out that website as well and the other shows on there and the other shows I plugged earlier. Very cool. To uh, hey, keep listening. Go Timberwolves and playoffs. Here we come. <laughs>